I have a free Draco shirt on. What? Because I designed it while Draco wow. was still locked. That's hard as fuck. Isn't that something? Well, you got that on the toy. This is crazy. Yeah. And the bike looks tight, too. You feel me? Are you wearing a no jumper hat? Uh, yes, actually. Although it's a no jumper hat that we made like a long time ago <laughs> and we uh, haven't made for a while. You want my phone? Did they add some? Dri- did they they add some drip on onto you too? They put some cool shoes on. Steel house phone's phone. Um, <laughs> we're live. All right, we in this bitch. Yeah, these are going to be available March nineteenth from the U 2s website. So March nineteenth, set a reminder and cop these figures. The the best part to me is that we just have Parker with the little baby kendama. Yeah, that's fire, honestly. And I'm on a bike. And they gave Parker uh, eyelashes. Yes. Because they do that for everybody. Like, everybody looks like a little, like, Judge Ito mm. Asian man. Yeah, you know? yeah, I felt that. I felt that. Yeah. Honestly, that's just tight. Like the, the uh, me characters. I love that this, it's just a free Draco shirt, and Draco's been out of jail for, like, six months. <laughs> six? I don't know. Mm, four? A couple. A couple. But I, I actually had them redo it so it's an on some shit shirt uh, going forward so it won't be the awkward free Draco shirt. Think about how many unreleased songs have free Draco lyrics in them. I that know. niggas didn't put out but it is weird it'd be like that like fucking i remember when like everybody was going around saying free yayo tony, oh, tony yayo was locked up eminem performed at like the mtv awards or the grammys or what? some shit and he had a free yayo shirt on i remember everybody that wanted a free yayo shirt for a while there admit it that shit was lit in the chat admit it free gucci too free gucci was a big thing i remember we had a big welcome home gucci like display on the wall in the store yeah. downtown you had a you had free a shirt. boozy was big too free boozy was big you had a shirt of that gucci man graphic too yeah and it said like on some shit on there or something we had a oh yeah yeah, yeah. and we had a gucci man shirt that we got a cease and desist from gucci the clothing brand why what was it it was like an old school gucci shirt with like but it said like gucci man like in the gucci font that's kind of it was basically like the hardest gucci merchandise that he could have <laughs> never made because yeah. it's blatant copyright infringement yeah and in hindsight he ends up getting a Gucci campaign. Exactly. I know. So hard, bro. I remember Atlantic telling me at one point that we had to stop signing on the Kodak Black NASCAR race race Why? shirt because he signed to Atlantic and they just like <laughs> they caught like, wind of it. And they're it like, like uh, we, I need that bread. But it must have been a weird situation for them to be like, oh, we're about to send a cease and desist to this guy who also is signed to, to Atlantic. Yeah. And then, well, for, at that time. <laughs> <laughs> and then... How like, often does that happen of like the, the cross cross reference uh, yeah. lawsuit? And, and like, oh no, we don't have to send them a lawsuit. We'll just tell them to stop selling it. Mm. That was nice. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. What are you doing? You just got off the plane? <laughs> or what? You just, you just showed up in town? Where were you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a different guy. You got a weird Sugar Hill shirt I, on. I fuck with the shirt. Honestly. Who is this? Who, who is this anime character that they replaced AD with? Wait, damn. It's like embroidered and printed, too. This is hard. Yeah. Shout and out it to says homie. Sugar Hill. Exclusive gang, man. So you are so into gangs that you wanted to join the Sugar Hill gang? I don't think people know in the chat what the Sugar Hill Gang is. They should. If they don't, the then first hip, <laughs> hip hop, the hip to the hip to the hip hip hop. When stop. people tell me they listen to rap music, that's what I picture they're talking about. Like Curtis blowing shit. Yes, of yeah. course. <laughs> white lines. <laughs> um, if you talk to any white person over the age of like forty, that's what they're referring to. The hip, the hip, the hip. That what? was like on the radio, like all the time when I got into rap music in '92 or so. That, that was shit was still on the radio all the time. But granted, like New Hampshire, it's not like they were playing like the new cool shit on the radio there. But you know, it was still like a presence. You know, like the way that they'll still like be bumping a, a rap song from like ten years ago um, on a lot of people's playlists. You know, it was still out there. Nah, I feel like out here it makes no se- like when you go out in Atlanta and you hear like you go to the bars, you go to restaurants or in the Uber or whatever, you hear like the new future, the new Uzi, whatever mm-hmm. playing everywhere, right? But then, nigga, you come out here, it's California. Oh, yeah. No so, side it's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, damn, let me at least get like some, some of the new West Coast niggas, like, you know? But, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But Wait. Like, when, I threw on a playlist the other day of like 2000s, like West Coast hits. I've heard all those songs officially so many times in my life that I can never really like listen to them on purpose. Like, That's I'm, what I'm saying. If I'm in a bar, if I'm in a club and I hear all those songs off 2001 and shit i'm gonna I'm go crazy but in terms of like me putting that playlist on i've just heard those songs too many times i can't do it i never i would Bro, never i was at karaoke and this fucking guy was like can you please play in the club i just like almost passed out 
Yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's like, don't tell me to play in the club, bro. Like, I put in my work 20 years ago. I yeah. listened to that song so many times, times that I didn't feel like I needed to listen to it anymore. It doesn't mean that if I hear it, I'm not going to be hyped. Yeah. You know, like every once in a while, you might I've need to put the, that on. I've seen the lyrics. Sometimes you might forget the lyrics and you got to refresh but yourself. But how do you forget the lyrics at karaoke? Because they're he hard to read. Beaten. Because every time you listen in the club, you have to do it hanging upside down in yeah. a laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> and so it can be hard to read the lyrics exactly. from the karaoke monitor while you're hanging upside down. Upside that down, video was fucking fire, actually. That was a revolution. But I, you know, I just like... Yeah, I resent people who think that like my where I'm at in my hip hop journey should necessarily like be where they're at when where they're at hasn't changed in 20 years. Yeah, it's like no, fuck you. We were talking about this, I think, like maybe a couple weeks ago. How you got like we all got friends that still like listen to the same shit from a long last time ago. It's crazy, and it's so weird when you like when I hang out with someone from high school and they're still listening to Jedi mind tricks. When was the last time you hung out with somebody? I know. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say. Everyone is dead. I'm like the last surviving. <laughs> they all, the fentanyl they got, got all of them, man. They got IP Nashua. They got attacked by, by a T Rex. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. like a joke that we bust out with my nephews and they're like five you asshole um no but that is, that is real though like but but i do have a couple of bmx homies that i still talk to from that i was like basically in high school with and yeah you know yeah i mean like it's weird like people people don't like understand until it happens of like how weird it is to be like damn near 40 yeah. It's like, oh, everybody is either dead or they fucking they, they, Damn, they had a house the and like they, they have a family, but it's like, you know, if I were to run into him, it would seem like just the most random like 40 year old dude that I don't even remember. Like, I don't yeah. remember anything of my whole life, any of it. It's you don't? <laughs> None of it. That's that goddamn <laughs> meth you were yeah. smoking. <laughs> like, what do you That's mean? That's why you just fried a part of your brain out. That's really kind of how memory. I feel, though. Like, I, 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 like recently, yesterday I had a call with like a dude who's like a very important like CEO of a big company, mm. and I was like, yeah, I think I met you at I, I met you at this one thing, right? And he's like, I actually met you at this, this, and this, and he like named three um, very specific things that, that I kind of like. They had just fallen out of my brain. That's yeah. that's like me too, though. It's bad. I'm good with faces, but I'm not good with names. I am really bad with both. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're bad with faces, I feel like. I'm like, damn, like you gotta know motherfuckers. Oh, and that mask thing fucked me up. Oh yeah. No see now I can see through the mask though. No, the mask is mm. deceiving, bro. I got X ray vision now. I can see directly <laughs> through. I can tell if a bitch is bad with a mask on from five mm -hmm. miles away. Mm -hmm. I didn't a couple of times. I'm like, pull your mask down. And the teeth was yeah. like the teeth was like this. Yeah. yeah. It's a dentist on every block, man. Just know that. Yeah, everybody ain't got dental insurance, though. <laughs> <laughs> now where I'm from. That, they, yo, but that experience, I had that experience way back in the day because I met a girl at a Halloween party and she was wearing a Catwoman costume. Mm -hmm. And what is the Catwoman costume? It covers almost your entire face, including your nose. And then mm -hmm. what, what's left? Oh, it's like a vinyl fucking shiny suit that is on the rest of your body. Yeah. I met this girl. I got her number. I'm chatting her up. We go get a drink or fucking we go to the movies like a fucking week or two later. Bro, this bitch looked disgusting. Mm. Her <laughs> face was Beat if you the meet fuck a, up. if you meet a bitch on if you meet a girl woman, a woman. on Halloween, you gotta just like smash that night and like do your thing. You, that's not. That you I, wish. Pass. You I wish pass. it was that easy. Yeah, the no. Freaks, freaks come on but the, the thing that was fucked up about it is that this was like before we had like good social media and every girl mm -hmm. had five hundred photos of her on social media mm -hmm. because nowadays if you met a girl and like you would go look at her Instagram, that's how you're gonna tell what she looks like. Like all nah. the time, yeah. We were just talking about this though about somebody where it's like it looked good on the gram, but then you see them in person and it was different. But let's be real, we're all the types that it's not going to stop us. No, nah, I had you to get in the guts. I had the exact hmm. <laughs> allegedly. I had the exact opposite of that happen to me the other day. Why? I pulled up on this girl, and not only did like did she always look good on Instagram, she looked ten times better in real life. What? Some some women's Instagrams do not give them no, no justice. No, no, no. Her Instagram did her justice already, and then I saw her in real life, and it was even crazier. We're so used to girls making themselves look way better for social media it that it blows mind. our mind when they actually haven't done what they could have done like, bro, with their raw materials. Like she looked amazing in real life. So you smash? Are you in the bubble guts or what? It it was life changing. The vagina. Okay, remember you were talking to Yachty last week? We oh, that's the one. Yeah. That one. Yes. I, I, was him, the the, I was showing AD on the side. You right didn't here. wear a condom? 
Ooh. Because <laughs> you didn't really do it if you wore a condom. Hey, she looked that good. You got to feel it. Hey, listen. Just know I left with the scarf like little Uzi. She looks so good that you'd <laughs> suck on her daddy's dick? Okay. No, Notorious B.I.G. Big, big Wait, but are you familiar with that reference of, so some fan tweeted JT, it was like a picture of her wearing this red scarf. I, I am familiar with that. Okay, yes. okay. I, 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 thought, that, that. I thought I had to explain to you over. I mean, I used to be, like, I'm embarrassed for the fact that I used to meet random girls at the bar, hook up with them, and then steal like $20, $40 out of their pocket. I didn't but even see That's worse. What? No, yeah, yeah. It's worse. Is that, even, is that crazy? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Who was telling that story about they were fucking the girl and they, they, they were like going into her pocket? Like the jeans were on the floor. Was that not either of y'all? No, that was um, that was Mexico. Never mind. Anyway, yeah. I would do it afterwards. They go to the bathroom. Whoop! Twenty no, bucks. So y'all are stealing shit from from no, women? No, 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 no. Back no, no, in the day. No, no, no. Yes, I did not steal <laughs> the scarf. I put it on and said, "Can I wear this?" She said, "You better bring it back next time." But you're not going to. I'm going over whenever she invites me over. That's interesting though, because what's the difference between stealing and just borrowing with no intent to give it back? Like the, the the with option B, you get to sort of like paint this this picture of you being this nice guy who just wants to borrow your scarf. But, option A, you just steal it, and then you're just a bad person. But like, it would even be worth it for me to steal the scarf because she's so bad that like I want to keep seeing her. That's why you took you took it and you take and you go bring it back, so you you're trustworthy. So you think you're in love? Maybe. She doesn't like you until she lets you have a toothbrush over there. I'm going to leave all my shit the next time. Hypothetical question. Oh, God. If you knew someone who, like, has known her, like, a good friend of yours. And I do. You, okay. Could, have you, they known her their whole life? Would you no. ask them, hey, tell me everything you know about her? No. Have you ever been in the position, though, like, where you like a girl and you realize you could do that? Yeah. They, there's someone you could ask. Tell me all the smut. I always do that. Give me the Carfax. You want to- <laughs> Give me the Carfax. I need to know what I'm getting myself into. For sure. Fuck you. Yeah. See, I like to have the romantic fantasy of like, she's going to be honest with me. Finding out how deranged she is on your own. Yes. No, give me the give me the list. I need to know mm. each dealership she came from. Each dealership. Yes. <laughs> I, one time, I was seeing a girl and I was in Long Beach and me and her uh like like i left while she stayed at the bar and we we're gonna meet up later or some shit like that so i'm just you know the blammy just fell oh, the blammy just <laughs> <laughs> shot imagine Adam. that shit happened shot at the blammy hit the ground okay <laughs> oh no it's pointing towards me it would hit you for <laughs> sure <laughs> i'm leaving the bar and i overhear this girl talking about the girl that i was seeing screaming about this girl hysterical to one of her friends being like she's this and she did this and she did that and i'm just walking by just listening just like oh my god <laughs> like she knows so much shit about this girl that i'm but honestly i liked her enough that i just kind of like tried to yeah. ignore it and just didn't really think anything of it and you know what then that girl ended up breaking my fucking heart and hurting my feelings and we broke up this is back in the day no nobody who's watching this channel has any idea what i'm talking about unless <laughs> you know me from back in the day yeah but I then then as soon as she hurt my feelings and was done with me, all my homies are like, bro, they're like, we've been living here. She's been living in the same city as us for three, four years. Like, we know, we, we knew she was fucking crazy. We just like seeing you happy. We didn't want to let you know. You got to be like that, I'm bro. like, what the fuck? You knew that she was like exactly the kind of person that she ended up being and you didn't fucking tell me. And now I'm over here like, oh, hurt. But no. honestly, if they had tried to tell me that, I wouldn't have really probably believed yeah. them. You, know? you got you to gotta just... You one of them guys, huh? At that time, you, you gonna choose? You gonna choose your woman over your uh, your homeboy's word? I square. They up didn't all, tell me. I, well, yeah. I square up with all the homies over my over some pussy. Hell no, nah, fuck, nah, fuck I'm the not homies. doing that. Fuck the homies, bro. Nah. <laughs> what is the homies? Because really let, me tell, let me tell you something. <laughs> you can always get new homies. <laughs> no, no, you no, can't no, get no, some new pussy. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, hashtag fuck the homie. No, no. Let me tell you something. I like that because once you once you're done with that woman, you're gonna go back to your homies and you gotta no, just I'm come. Not. Fuck the homies. What? New, new homies. Stop for new homies. <laughs> fuck that. Okay. New bitch. New homies. New. Wow. <laughs> no new friends. No new friends. No new bitch. New mo homies. new friends. Mo new <laughs> friends. You mo like friends. Ooh, mo cool. more more. Speaking of Drake. <laughs> speaking of Drake. Speaking of Drake. Three piece. A uh, girl hurt my feelings ten years ago, and we got a podcast <laughs> about it. Fuck Drake. No, I'm just kidding. But the Drake girl that drunk. I was just interviewing basically said that she would give it all up for Drake. Yeah. What girl basically wouldn't give it? That's up what for I'm Drake? saying. And I asked them, 
did AD say that he was going to go jerk off in the parking lot at Starbucks? No, I actually didn't ask them that. Did wait, I? wait. You got to apologize to me for that shit now. I listened to it, and I, that's what no, I heard. it was not. And Josh said it was half and half. Did not. <laughs> not one time did I say I was going to jerk off. What were you Tell inferring? The truth. What? Tell the truth. You didn't specifically say it. I just said I got to drive to fucking Starbucks. You said that you had a boner and you needed to get rid of the boner so that you could more comfortably play with your kids. Yes. And that you would drive to a Starbucks Location to sit in the parking to lot. To sit in the park. What am I supposed to assume you are going to do <laughs> you, in the parking wait lot? Wait a minute. You kind of set yourself. Up is it that. not a fair <laughs> assumption? <laughs> that is a fair assumption. Now, now that you say it like that, but he's. I told him your boner will go down without you having to beat your shit. He said, "Me, I just got to beat the fuck out of my shit." To go but away. imagine going to <laughs> he Starbucks. To cunt. He's like violent. He's going like, ah! to Starbucks just to stand to stare at your erection and just think. I'm not like, staring at my erection. Go away. I'm looking at fucking lattes to try to take my mind off of it. Caffeine gets rid of your boner? Maybe. No, he's just saying that he's looking at the menu and getting turned off by the menu. Is that how it works? He's looking at the bagels? Like, if, no, <laughs> I don't want to fuck that. No way. Oh, wait. Soft spot bagel. Um, poor, you're, poor You're bagel. looking at the eclairs like, nah, nah I'm not going to fuck Nigga, that. Nigga, Starbucks don't have any eclairs. I'm like, okay, what the fuck is an eclair? They're lo- you're looking at the pastries. <laughs> you um, eclair? You're like, no, I don't want to put my dick in that. No siree, Bob. I'm going to go just not have a boner now after looking at this thing. Did you ever watch American Pie and think, like, I wonder if that works? No, nigga. You fucking in, a, movie, hot, in a hot pie, you're going to burn your sound, fucking dick. That sounds fire. Think about how little sense that made. <laughs> it made no sense at all. Can you think about anything worse to fuck? <laughs> Apple pie. It's this thin. <laughs> <laughs> Not, not kind of dish. fucking <laughs> like you're, the only possible way is if you were to get like a sideways thing going. I don't think that like honestly, an orange. Shout out Yuri. I makes was just going to say that. It, it really yeah. makes a lot more sense because at least like you are going to have full contact on your penis the whole time. Fucking something like a pumpkin makes sense, but honestly, an orange makes sense because you could grip the orange. So you have the texture, you have the pulp, you have the the seeds, the juices. That just sounds like it's gonna burn. Like, what time is Vaughn's close today? Uh, huh? <laughs> I don't know. They probably all have different times. I can't imagine. They're not gonna let you into Vaughn's. You have COVID. Um, <laughs> They're gonna let you into Vaughn's. Damn. Even the packaging. On, I'm sorry. Even the packaging on that shit is fire. I can't hold you. March nineteenth. I gotta tap in with them. You twos. Can you see it? Switch to the angle of me. I want one. Too. I want to see whether. Oh, you're the one looking at that. Okay. Whatever. I'm sure it looks fun. Because I'm, I'm seeing the YouTube view that is delayed. Whatever. Okay. What did you get into this weekend, Adam? What did you do? So, Saturday, I went to, uh, what's it called? Santa Clarita. Some some part of like up SCV. northern, uh, met up with some family, experienced Pokemon Community Day. What's it called? Felching. We, we caught hella felches. <laughs> no, uh, fletches. Fletchling. Fletches. Felching is when you uh, will like come in somebody's ass and then you'll suck it out with a straw. What? Uh, Google it. I'm good. I'm not saying you got to Google it, but I'm saying that that's that, a real thing. We, we were catching mad of this Pokemon that's called Fletching, and I'm like, it looks like Felching. And I looked up Felching on Urban Dictionary just to confirm that that is what I remember it being. That is very strange. I've never heard that in my life. I think that's probably a pretty common experience for a lot of people. Really? It's probably mostly a New Hampshire thing. But I love that Urban Dictionary, like any slang term you've ever heard Mm -hmm. that you feel like, you know, it's just like you and your four homies that you ever heard say this term, it will be on Urban Dictionary. Yep. Is it like user submitted though, where you could go and just like, okay, so what if one of your four homies added that on there? And that's the funny thing too, is if you go to Urban Dictionary and you type in where you're from, it will have like a definition of like where you're from. And I mean, obviously yours is going to be like loaded because like Compton is somewhere that everybody already knows about but like when i go to the national new hampshire one or whatever the def it just like describes it in such ridiculous detail and then there'll be like other people submitting their definitions and stuff it's very funny so it's how like much wikipedia t- yeah urban wikipedia. dictionary yeah it's like it's a it's a dictionary site but how much time have you spent on this website That's what I'm saying. Yeah, this, sounds like- this has been on the internet for like 20 fucking years he's probably submitting everything and yeah i didn't know you could search like where <laughs> you, you were editor. from on there though that's crazy I mean, well how would you feel about me if you found out that i had like a, a a ghost youtube account that i used to comment on gang drama you probably do hopping probably. in the chat like fuck milk he a bitch there's no you way probably do. there's no way you no. freestyle that off the dome you might shout actually- out milk he, uh, he got hella views on that shit. People fuck with him. Yo, that shit went crazy. Quarter actually. million already. He put out a he put out a video about your boy. About who? Your boy. Which boy? 
the one you just paid. Well, I don't know if you paid him, but the one you just got promo from. Oh, he did. Mm-hmm. I told oh, him I, I have to peep that. C yeah. Mac the Low on 55th Street. It's the Mac Sitch, and I'm about to attack. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, seems like a great guy. He goes, This is for Lena the Plug, for Parker Ann. Yo. Adam you- 22 loves you a lot. Family is very important. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have spent, like, when I figured out that he was doing all this promo for all these different businesses, I fucking spent, like, an hour looking at it, and I felt like I want to spend another couple hours looking at this because mm. as soon as you see him, like, shout out to Margaret's Cake Shop, <laughs> 110th Street, go get a cake from Martha. I know you like cake. No, I like the I like the uh, credit, credit report one. Take your next ten inquiries off, Cass. <laughs> <laughs> He's just shouting out the most random shit. Shout out Sylvia. Go cop Sylvia's OnlyFans. I know you've seen Sylvia at the laundromat. You know she looks good. Go get that Boy. shit. I'm just kidding. I haven't actually seen him do one for OnlyFans. But, you know, I'm hurt because i seen all Urban Central pulled up on him and filmed a little video of him, like, standing outside his block, which <laughs> I don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't want to stand on that block. <laughs> no, that block is way too open. Don't go over there. I do not want to be over there. I felt way safer being in the projects because at least you feel like, it's These like, projects are like blocked off by the people no, that run this. Well, yeah, to the most you know, part, like yeah, largely, yeah, 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 largely. You know, it's like being see, seeing that clip of Black Boy. I don't know if you just filmed that in front of or not, Black Boy. Sorry, my bad. Seeing that clip of Crip Mac posted up just outside the crib. I'm like, bro, this is way too too hot. Like, and I'm sure that they deal with this all the time. I'm sure they're ready for whatever. But I just really don't want to be standing hold, standing there holding the camera. It's the yeah. Max Sitch. But you can't even, <laughs> you can't even like peep the scene, like you know. Yeah. Damn, I can't wait to see what he got to say about milk. How would you describe it? Uh, he was basically just like calling him like an internet gangster, and like he's basically saying like real, you know, like for clarity, they are they are all from rival. They are from rival hoods. Yeah. For clarity, C Mac has the name of Milk's yes. gang with the word killer after it on his forehead. It's a lot of them like that, though. Yeah, that's a fact, bro. That's like common. Over there, man. You laughed yeah. at me when I said it, but I think the worst thing about that forehead tattoo, and I mean, I appreciate it from a marketing perspective for sure. I respect oh. that that's how he feels, but the worst part is that that means that you can't ever be cool. Like, imagine I didn't like you at one point, and I got AD Killer tattooed on my head, and then we just we, we can never be cool after that, right? It just kind of closes the door. Unless I don't think he wants to be cool though. <laughs> yeah, I would guess. But, <laughs> but I mean, you know, like you there, don't join gang to kumbaya. There are gangs that have had really, really long standing yeah. beefs that then end up squashing the beef, yes. right? Occasionally, does either, that ever happen? Either for a common enemy or is just the beef is just like super old. Super so old, mm, yeah. Yeah. But some shit is just like generational. Like you grow up hating a hood that you don't even know why. Why mm. you guys are beefing. One thing that yeah. C Mac keeps saying is he keeps saying Snoover sexuals, mm, or mm. it's it's you stop. should you should stop, stop right now and stop, don't say anything like stop. this. Le- I just am interested le- in the leave history. it alone, Adam. How leave it alone. This, I don't leave know. it alone. Mm, yeah, leave I'm, it alone. I might have to have some about that. Yeah, you just don't do that. Yeah. Okay. So. Here, all right. Follow up question. Why does Milk say everything's groovy? That's how. That's, that's how they, they talk. talk. Yeah. But why? What, where, where did it come from? That's what Hoover said. Groove. You know how like Crips say cud and niggas and blood say blood. Like the Hoover say groovy. Yeah. No. Yeah, like, they say groovy. Oh, because because groovy up, groove? sounds like Hoover kind of. I don't know. Oh, I, just I just really don't groove. know. Yeah. Like, came like what's up, groove? Like that's your like you know. Like, I, I really say, like. I it. say what's up, Herb? Herb. Yeah. I don't. What's Herb? That's that's like that's what we say. Uncle Herb. No. No. Uncle Herb. Gang 101 with Adam 22. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uncle Herb? <laughs> oh, man. If you spend so much time on Urban Dictionary, you got to go to like, what's that? What's like? Oh, wow. I need to make the Herb gang. in Dictionary. Mm. <laughs> what up, Yang? The Crip, Crip, what Crip is Chronicles. Yang? You and fucking YBN here were all like, what up, Yang? No, Yang, that's Yang. Yank. Yank. Yeah. yeah. Yank. Because they wear like the Yankee hats. No. Oh, so, so you I, say, what's up, Yank? In the vlog, I'm like, y'all fuck with Andrew Yang? That's tight. Oh my I fuck with him. He wanted to give everybody $1,000. Yes, he did. <laughs> I, I don't know why we get him. You should move to New York. He's running for mayor in New York, and he's in Is the league. Is he going to give everyone $1,000 in New York? Go to New York and get your $1,000. Okay. Fuck that. You ever seen that meme of like, uh, my stimulus my stimulus didn't come, so I, I'm outside to get it. It's like a nigga standing outside the bar. <laughs> <laughs> My stimulus ain't come, so I'm outside to get it. That shit's too funny. <laughs> That's amazing. Can you believe Biden still hasn't got the stimulus checks out? 
I mean, people got to understand it's a real process that people yeah. got to. Oh, now, now, yeah. now you're happy to make excuses. When Trump was in office, it's like there's kids in cages. Now it's like, oh well, these things. Those take are two time. different hell, things. Hey, hell no, that nigga Trump was giving us the the Brennan. The what? The, the bread. bread. The bread. The yes. bread. Net. He did. You're right. Well, Trump gave you a lot more money than than Joe Biden has so far. That nigga ain't gave a shit yet. Nothing. He, he was already in the infrastructure of the White House for a while, though. It's probably easier for him to get it off no, no, he's, than Joe Biden. He's like, fuck giving these people money. I'm going to go to Syria myself and blow some <laughs> shit up. You know, he just went to Urban Dictionary and found out what herb means. Yeah. Herb. Yeah. <laughs> um, we shouldn't talk about politics, so it's not our area of expertise. Let's get back to the It's not my area. Game. It's not my area It ain't his area either or mine. <laughs> Did you see my YG interview? Uh, I seen some of it. Just little clips. I was laughing, though. Pretty funny, did you right? see the clip he sent us? Yes. Okay. What? How do you? What, what is your response to that? Yeah. How do you feel about the, me? The shit about me? Yeah. <laughs> he, he, YG was like jokingly trying to throw the snitch title on me the whole time, which I honestly think was good because was if he's willing to joke around about that, then that's kind of like proof that I'm not a fed. Which like, if he really thought you were a fed, you he did. You did do it. some uh, criminal. As much as I think it's stupid that Vlad gets that, it's like it's, people seem serious when they say it about Vlad. Because like, Vlad, you're really a federal agent. No, because. I, the, the way Vlad, it's like first of all, when you go to Vlad, you're in this dark ass fucking room anyway. <laughs> it's like you're being interrogated already. <laughs> he set it up. Right you, you know what I'm saying? Adam's gonna say some sus shit and just you feel me? Mm. But I was laughing. Nigga said, "Hey man, ask AD who's in his hood. <laughs> ask him what happened." <laughs> it's like, oh shit. But you know what's great about getting on Vlad though is that then you have like the slow release of like mm. 30 days in a row of getting to watch a, a couple minute long clip on YouTube of yourself talking about something, which is like, I wouldn't, if I did like a two hour interview with Vlad, I would never watch the whole thing. Yeah. But because I it's split up so much, I watch every single clip, even when it's me, which That's is the weird. marketing. How many, yeah. how many parts is yours? Like 18? I mean, like the last couple of times I did, it, it was like 20 plus <laughs> clips. Yeah. That's fire. You just watch them as they come out, or do you wait to the end? No, no, I watch it the whole way through. Yeah, mm. just like as it's, as they come out. <laughs> I didn't watch the I didn't watch like the CML one, Lavish D. I didn't watch that one until it was all out, and then I I still watched it in clips, but I waited until it was basically all. I out. did. I did the whole. But thing you want to know the new thing that Vlad is trying out? The premium shit is that you can do the YouTube membership. You can do the YouTube membership on No Jumper as well. You just get emojis that you can use in the live chat. Like we never really took it super serious, but it's basically like you pay five bucks a month. And with Vlad, his main thing that he's offering is that you can watch the full interviews before they actually are fully released mm. for the five bucks a month. And he hit me up today and told me that they're actually having some pretty decent success. They're getting people to get on. So I, I feel like it's weird for him because it's going to be very dependent on his interviews. Like if he puts out some crazy interview that everybody wants to see and he puts it on there, then I mean, I he'll think, probably get a ton of signups. I think it's good for like blog sites and people that want to get insight before he drops the shit. Yeah. Cause then they could take that clip that they got premium and then put the content out there. And it's really going to get people tuned in to the interview when it comes out, like the full part of it. But that's, that, that's the problem that he will probably eventually have is that he'll do an interview with somebody and they'll say something that he's going to know is going to be viral as fuck and he's going to put it behind that paywall, but then it's it's going to, somebody's going to pay for it and then somebody's going to pull that clip, film it, whatever, and then put it on Twitter mm -hmm. and it's going to be a week until that clip actually, like with the Young Buck thing. Some blog would have already fucking taken a video. Now, Vlad, on a, to, be, to his defense, though, he's really good about getting shit taken down when people are pirating his content. But if it was something really blockbuster, like viral yeah. thing, they would probably just like... It'd be it. out of control. So you, you feel like he's not going to be able to monetize his content this way? He just might run into that issue where if he has something really viral, he might run into a situation where he wants to just put that thing out in advance because leaking it out to anybody willing to pay five bucks is going to be sort of problematic. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I watched Coming to America last night. The first one or the second one? The first one. Mm. Classic. Never, never saw it before. Classic. The second one just came out, didn't it? That's yeah. why I watched the first one is so uh, I can now watch the second one. Okay. I'm proud of you. Another Another movie down. Yeah, you're, you're. You still have to watch the wood. I'm gonna keep telling you. I am you. going to watch the wood, Paul and Baby Boy. But um, I've been thinking. You gotta get about, to the L.A. ones, yeah, for sure. You know, I went on Amazon Prime yesterday, and I just saw Coming to America, and I was like, "Well, I can't watch the new one. I gotta watch the old one first. And uh, that distracted me from looking up the wood, which I don't even know what that is. Honestly, it's amazing. It's about Inglewood. Inglewood. Oh, yeah. it's called the wood. You're gonna love short. it. This it's whole time I was thinking maybe it was about a basketball team. No, that's love. <laughs> that's love nah. and basketball. That's another classic. She'll watch that too. 
throw that one on the list, guys. Comment <laughs> down below Adam's list of movies that AD has told me to watch. Adam's black movies. Yes. I feel like, okay, I feel like you're going to... I feel like you're gonna like the wood. Pause. Pause. Yeah, super <laughs> Please. Pause. Yeah, put the wood in me. I can't Whoa. wait. No, yeah. I, I mean, I'm excited to check it out. I don't know, but it is weird because it's kind of like my whole life. I was interested in one part of black culture, which was the rap <laughs> just, part, just the music, and I was like not really like concerned about like. Did you watch like award shows, like the BT no. Awards and yeah. shit like that? No, 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 no. That's like that was like. That's like you cultivate like what was hot that year, and like at the end you like watch like the hip hop awards. Or I have whatever. always thought award shows were so stupid, and never was really interested in them. And it, I, I see that as being kind of foolish in retrospect because now I can sort of see the value of them. But I also never go out of my way to watch. An award. But they are kind of irrelevant now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But when we were like young, they were very, Bro, very. Bro, what relevant. MTV awards was like yeah. the shit. MTV Video Awards. Bro, come the VMAs. On. Come on, man. When I I had already had a rap podcast for a, a while, like years, and TK had to tell me what All Star Weekend was. And had to like explain that this that it was is, like a big deal. That this is like a thing. Like yes. you should try to get interviews during this because there's mad Everybody people that are going to be in town. I, I didn't know. It just passed in Atlanta, and I did nothing. Yeah. So well, oh, it wasn't out here. So then, I guess. In so. retrospect, it was like last weekend, bro. It was lit. Next uh, next year, All Star Weekend is in L. A. and the Super Bowl. Oh, fuck. so this is going to be fucking ridiculous. You, the last time that it was out here was like maybe like 2018 and it was bro, we were on Melrose it was crazy bro I remember it that it was yeah. crazy and crazy. I remember them like yeah cause everybody got robbed Famous Dice yeah. got robbed oh, remember man. god damn it a lot of people got you robbed you probably so know robbed them tell us admit it I don't know nothing <laughs> you probably know him <laughs> you looked away <laughs> he's probably from your hood no but it was a lot of active shit going on that weekend everybody was getting robbed that weekend I remember that shit I was on Melrose and I was like I gotta get the fuck out of here <laughs> that was my first thought yeah no that shit was wild as hell but yeah now now I'm trying to like you know for your you guys' amusement I'm trying to like you get guys. deeper into the entirety of black culture so I'm watching all these old ass movies Good, nigga. really like one a week it'll help you <laughs> <In one week. laughs> you're gonna digest it <laughs> digest black did culture. you watch another episode of Snowfall <laughs> no I gotta oh it. my god wait 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 <laughs> but listen but listen but you doing that you versing yourself like in other shit besides the music will help you understand random references mm -hmm. it'll help you just like get a grip on everything like a little more that's honestly. why at some point i want to become a master of like 50 years of basketball history mm, so you can understand every reference every ever. every rap lyric ever dude when we interviewed blue bucks and we were like telling them that we me me or him does not like listen to sports at all like they were looking at us like the big like we're the biggest bitches ever <laughs> like, like, like we I didn't mean, have dicks they were looking at us like we had just cut our dicks off and thrown them <laughs> in the trash but it's funny because i don't need to know exactly who they're talking about but i know it's a sports reference when i hear it, and i know yeah. like a little bit about it but former athletes are like they look at that oh, study that shit like i never was into that shit either like that it's so awkward too because i've had times where people tried to like introduce me to nba players like 100 percent mm. thinking that i was gonna know all about them and i'm just like oh what's up man like how, how you doing like whatever like i don't fucking you know don't even know say. what team they even play. i remember <laughs> me and my girl went to mastros one time and there was a dude who was like blatantly an nba player because he was looking like, right at our table and talking talking to his friends about me and it was like I, like I recognized him like I knew him from fucking TV or some shit and I'm just like thinking like this is so unbelievably Anthony awkward Davis. that this guy's talking about me and I, I have no who. fucking clue who yeah. he is and he's definitely famous and I have no way of figuring it out should have done like a face scan like take a picture of him <laughs> or no. tweet it and just be like who's this guy <laughs> <laughs> hey what if he what if he would have caught you taking a sneaky pic of him across from across the <laughs> restaurant hey <laughs> the NBA 2K face scans are fucking crazy mm. what's that they take your face you can scan your face on the video game and, they and they'll make it into and some of these scans hey, it maybe it, when, when you do it is it do, 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 and it makes your your head really tiny <laughs> <laughs> it turns me into a bear really every time that's hot <laughs> oh <laughs> my god <laughs> wait what were we just talking about wait speaking of AD being hot AD just modeled for my homie's hat shit. And I was like, damn, the homie looking kind of cute. Pause. Oh, come on, Pause, man. pause. I'm saying the homie oh, was looking. Man. The homie had his shit all lined up. The hat. I was like, Are you damn. familiar with Bro Top? No. <laughs> no, I am not. I do not want to be familiar with it. <laughs> Yo, never mind. I'm not going to say nothing. Yes, I am familiar with it. Smash the like down below if you're familiar with a little house top Bro Top freestyle. Little house, little house top, top Bro Top Jesus freestyle. Jesus Christ. Little house phone Bro Top freestyle. Classic work. Hey, the nigga house said the model, the model homie. <laughs> if you let me ask you a question, I'll be modeling for shit. If too. you were on a song with mm -hmm. House Phone and mm -hmm. he said, 
She thinks she she thinks I'm famous, so she's licking on my anus. Would you be like, no? You can't say that on a song with I, me. Honestly, BFB did it, and it was like the fucking funniest line. It that was dope that as helped fuck. you grow in terms of like being like, I'll, I'll fuck with a, a rap song. You, you know what? You know what's crazy though is that like I literally was in a fucking. Uh, I was talking to like seven or eight homies that I know in the industry and shit, and the topic came up, and they was just like, "Man, I love getting my ass ate and stuff like that." And every single last person was just bigging it up, and it came to me, and I was like, "No, nah, I don't fuck with that." <laughs> That's they, gay. No, I. But look, they was like this. They, everybody just looked at me, kind of like the black sheep after that. They was just like, "They're like, oh, this." Nigga. And they didn't talk about it no more. Like, like this nigga not with the shits. We can't. They're like, "Oh, if he not with that, we can't tell him about the other shit we be doing." Exactly. That's, That's how I thinking. felt though. I feel like if you take twenty white kids that are like twenty five, right? Twenty white dudes, uh, twenty five years old, right now mm -hmm. at random, and you ask them if they're down to get their ass eaten, I feel like they're all gonna say yes. I'm probably wrong, but like oh, my no. my warped view of the world thinks that they're all gonna be down. Let us know if you're down in the chat. Yeah, yeah. everybody. Twenty one though, just like now, like just like all right, whatever. Your preference is lift your, your legs up. Yep. Yeah, lift your legs up. Eat my ass. I haven't got my ass eaten in years. Yeah. Damn. That's you went viral true. for getting your like. People were coming up to me at parties and shit. Like, haha, your boy getting his ass ate, and I'm like, I was early on that shit. I used to post selfies of letting eat my ass on Twitter. Uh, and people would so act sad. like I was the craziest person ever. But you know what, like. Back in the day, my homie, when I was like 14, he was like 17. Him and his girl used to do that to each other all the time. And I thought that was they the post weirdest shit back then. Mm. I was just like, what the fuck y'all doing that shit for? There was a meme of this guy who looked kind of like me. Like, we had like the same head shape. And like, my friends would always send it back and forth of like, <laughs> this nigga just eating this girl's ass. And I was like, ah. When I was 16, I ate my girlfriend's ass. And I, I mean, you know, this is just like a level of which like of sexual excitement that you're capable of getting to when you're mm -hmm. like 16 doing something for the first time. Yeah. You're a sick nigga for doing 16. Yeah. That's I would have, this was like the greatest thing that had ever happened to me in my life at this moment. Was you eating some girls random ass? It was my girlfriend at the time. And I really, it was probably after a long day of school. I don't remember tasting any sort of residue or poop or anything. I remember it being a pretty clean cut experience, but yeah, maybe I don't know. But, uh, mm. have you, you ever, have you ever face dove? And there was a little, a yes. little extra. Yes. I've tasted shit on a girl's asshole. But either way, the Me thing, too. the thing that I'm saying though, like my beard smelled like ass after. When I was 16, <laughs> eating my girl's ass Mud in the pie. basement at her mom's house, and her parents were like right upstairs, and they could have probably easily like walked down and seen it. If you had told me at that time, in the year of our Lord 2000, fresh off Y2K, if you had told me one day it will be considered normal for men to get their asses eaten by women i would not have known what the fuck to do with that information <laughs> it would have been so because i thought it was so taboo that i was eating my girlfriend's asshole did you tell anybody after like you told your homies after yes definitely. and then what did they say oh you fucking weird you can't hit the blunt you know we were like bmx dudes so it was kind of like it was like gnarly. It was like, oh, that's tight. You yeah. ass. Yeah. Yes. Let's like crack a Michelob. Yeah. My homie put it in Michelob. perspective. He said, listen, bro, we got to make sure these girls, when we fuck with them, never want to go to nobody else. So we have to do everything to them. Really? And it's like a mission. You go with that? Hell yeah. That's why you beat girls you up gotta, and shit? No. <laughs> I do not. Yo, I, no, I do not. That just seems like the logical, like, when, no, when, that's not logical that logic at all. could be applied to, like, Come here. like, that's what dudes say who beat their girls up. It's like, uh, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you, you so no that, other guy will watch if you. If you no, it that way, I'm, that is a whole nother. No, but I was no, talking no. about sexually no, to no. them. I know what you mean. You got to show the fuck out. So she's impressed and she's like, wow, like, you feel me? Yeah. I heard this girl like telling her friends like in front of me on FaceTime, like it was so crazy, blah, blah, blah. And, and like, that's the fucked up thing. And I, I like saw myself falling into this as I got later into being single before I got into a relationship where I'd be trying to fuck girls, but I wouldn't want to spend that much time doing it. Mm -hmm. And it's really hard actually to like get pussy in a hurry. Like most yeah. girls, they really don't want you to just come over for an hour and fucking get out. Uh, yeah, but if all. you were to like, you know, take them out to eat, go get a drink, then go back to the crib, they're probably going to fuck you realistically. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. once you've put in that amount of time, it seems quite likely. The ability to just show up, hit and get out is very, Man. that's harder to pull off. It's, it's easy when they have a man though. 
Because then mm. they just like, I just want to get smacked real quick. And then you can just dip but then, out. But then you might have to worry about that window of why you're smacking. The nigga might return. You have a and then you got to have like the Biggie me. song. You have to blame me. Get out of your own room. That Biggie song where he shows up and you're like, uh, you're, a, you're a football player and he's fucking your girl. And then he ends up, t- turns it into a robbery. Like, Crazy. Yeah, remember that? I know, but no. I didn't <laughs> been to girls' house like when they when they got pictures of, of her and her nigga mm. all oh, around man. the house and shit. I just go over there, put it down. Mm. Have this you, is my house. Have for you an ever hour. felt like genuinely bad? Yeah. When you make a girl like go out of her way, you know she drives a, an hour to see you or whatever, and then you fuck and you just come way too fast, and, and then, then like go to sleep, and then you're just out. Like you just if you're ever, like really bad about it, or you just not care. Yeah. You gotta you gotta sit there and say your pussy stinks. And that's why huh? I came really fast, and now I'm done. I'm gonna say no. your pussy stinks. That's why I couldn't do but, it. But like, it's when, either you or me, and I chose the, me. If the pussy stinks so bad that you know that there's no, it don't no, stink. There's no round excuse. two. That, that you can't do a round two. No, it doesn't. Too grossed out. He, he doesn't stink. No, he, it stinks. No, no, <laughs> you, you just gotta just. It stinks, stinks AD. <laughs> now, it see, fucking I was, stinks. I was going with the exact opposite response. I'm like. I'm like, damn, baby, that shit was so fire. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you know. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. Back, like, yeah. AD you come said, too fast. AD uh, said just disrespect. Yo, <laughs> like this. <laughs> no shit stank, man. No, you, I, you, <laughs> I can't do this shit. No. You shit got, was fire. You got to say, Yo. hey, my bad. Let's smoke a blunt. And, I'll, and I got another round in me. What's the, are what's girls the one weirded out when you say that? What's Bro, the one I told are you? Are they down for the second I le- round? I left yeah, it in. Yeah. I nutted and left it in. And then just start going crazy. You got to ask. You want some juice? Nah, I didn't do the juice. I had to go, cra- bro. You want I'm some milk? You? Huh? Yeah. you want some milk? No, you like, yes, I want some milk. You didn't give it to me. I only like fucking girls who have a belly full of milk. <laughs> <laughs> no, YG was sitting right here talking about how if the homie gets too hot, I tell him to drink a glass of milk. <laughs> the milk will make it so you're not high anymore. I'm like, wow, like, thank you for this advice. <laughs> I mean that is kind of true though, because orange juice amplifies everything. I don't know why. Yeah, but yeah, I niggas never thought pop, of milk like niggas that. Niggas will pop an ecstasy like I need some orange yeah, juice. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I need to roll. But that's gonna make you more high, not less high. Yeah, no, no. It's just so. Well, I, I asked YG how he would feel if one of his artists started popping perks, and he was kind of like, "Man, I'm not gonna lie, I love the perks." Like he, was just, he, <laughs> I love that. he kind of like wholeheartedly endorsed them, if I'm remembering mm. correctly, and like didn't really seem worried about the risk at all. So I was like, oh, I mean, that's know. when he's doing his personal life. Hey, I don't think everybody, he, everybody got their poison, man. You're just so used to people like refusing to talk, like real celebrities. You're you're used to them not talking about drugs without like saying like, but they're also very bad. Don't do that. Yeah, you know, that's you know? a fact. I was like totally surprised that he was just kind of like, I'm not gonna lie, I hurt myself and I fell in love with the perks. Mm. But like, you know, like he just he didn't he didn't take that option. I might hurt myself on purpose to jump off a bridge. You remember Kenny Powers? Yeah, I hurt myself. I hurt my nose. Playing with my nose. You guys fuck with East, Eastbound and Down, no? I don't know what that is. Please watch every episode of Eastbound and Down. It is the funniest fucking show ever. What is that? Laura it's doesn't know what it is. It's a comedy either. show about a guy who used to be a big time baseball player and then he became a washed up uh, substitute mm. teacher okay. or gym teacher. Sounds fire. Mm. It's so fucking funny. It's from. It was like, on like HBO. Wasn't it's like it? ten years old. Wasn't yeah. it on like HBO? It's on Amazon Prime. Who's that? Mm, I know That's the actor, right? Danny McBride. Who the fuck is that? Pull Eastbound and down. If you guys want to understand some fire white shit, <laughs> yeah, put me on Dolly Parton. You didn't One know who song. Dolly? You didn't know who Dolly Parton was? No. Nah. With the huge titties. Dolly Parton recently got a lot of love because they were trying to give her what a fucking statue in downtown Nashville or That's some shit. Fire. And she said that she thinks like with everything going on in the country that she didn't want think it was a good time. Legend. That's Which beautiful. A lot of people really appreciated that. That's hot. She's mega, like, non-political, like, will just not really, like, say shit about politics. I so I think people thing. were hyped when they saw that. It's like, oh, she's she sympathizes with the black folk. Yeah, honestly, that's fire. I'm down with the dollies. Anyway. I, how, is she, like, 60, 70? She's old as fuck, and she honestly still looks really good. But when you look at her when Keep she was young, picture? she looked amazing. She, she had a uh, fire. She did a Pure Space commercial, her song. For uh, the Super Bowl commercial, Pure Space yeah. had a Super Bowl commercial. Yep, and it was well, they her probably song. ran it up. Damn! Wow. Working Pure Space, for those who don't know, is basically like an app that lets you rent a fucking. It's like Airbnb uh, for like photo your, your music videos. And shit, and photo yeah. oh, that sounds like that sounds normal. Yeah. Okay. Dude, Dolly Parton, giant boobs. You got to type type in like Dolly Parton See, like twenty twenty one. That that that. Damn! Look at her back then. That yeah, one. She's bro. She been bro. Nah, she was fire. Okay, I'm I'm down to see the old pictures now. Actually, but, but, you know, go Dolly Parton, young. Yeah, there we go. Kind of creepy, but 
Not that young. No, that's if she you. comes up with her in the cradle, oh I'm going to be pissed. Look at these titties. Damn. Oh, my God. Look at them tatas. Yo. You can't make it so she the screen? That oh was all natural God. too, bro. How many followers do you think she would have if she was an Instagram model in this day and <laughs> like age? Like right now, she would have like twenty million. I think she had a boob job, but I don't know. If she, I think she already had gigantic boobs before she got the. Boob I don't job. know. Boob don't jobs know. back then probably was terrible. Mm. I don't know. I don't Nigga, know. boob jobs right now, she, you get them done wrong, it's fucked up. She had to have had a fucking crazy ass. She had a situation going but in you the first think, place, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. you got to think about, too. She had the bread, so she was getting the top line surgeons. like, And she was famous as fuck, so she was getting like the best surgeons possible. Well, you know what's crazy to think about, though, is that, like, you know, yeah, you could be a, a, a pop star. But why not just be an OnlyFans girl? You're going to make enough. You're going to make probably more money. It's easy. You don't got to write no fucking songs or whatever. You just look hot. You post on Instagram. Bro. You're going to make a whole bunch of money. And you don't have to deal with the horribleness of being like really famous. or You know how hard it is to actually be a successful musician? Yeah. Versus Bro. like an OnlyFans girl. If you're at mega hot, it's done. You talk you about put yourself out there, it's done. Like it's the fucking yeah. army, the way you try to recruit people. I'm not trying to recruit anyone. I'm just talking saying, about the reality of the situation. About, you're, you're like the army fucking guy that says, be all you can be, be brother. You can be. Join, join the you army. You sitting on the couch, not doing nothing. Yeah. Get your ass up and come over here to OnlyFans. <laughs> Shake some ass and get paid OnlyFans. <laughs> Zay Hilfiger, suck a dick. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> Eat the cum rice. Oh, that, Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, you didn't know that he did that? Oh my God. He jizzed in a bowl of rice and ate it. It's like 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 soggy waffle type situation. I, mean, I don't know, know exactly oh how he did it. God. I just know he ate the cum rice. I'm saying, do you remember that? Soggy he hasn't waffle. hit me up to do that interview. I don't think he wants to talk about how sussy is. I think you like pushed that out the window by just keep talking about him. You talk about him sucking the glass ditto every week. At least it's not like his name and the title on YouTube. It's it's like the juju on the beat kid talks that's about that's even worse i would be mad as fuck yeah like don't even use your name it's fucked up i guess but i mean it's fucked up either way that you're making that clear. i wish it was the old days of youtube because i would fully have him sucking the giant glass dildo Bro, in the thumbnail can we move on no that would be in the thumbnail <laughs> I want to tell you that when I just did the podcast with Julia Rose and them, I asked them, is AD the first gang member that I've ever, that you've ever met in your life? And they said, yes. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Why the, is that your same joke for everybody? Hey, no, the, no, I was reading they the were comments. so white that definitely was, no. it was the case. With but then them. I walked in earlier and he was like, this is my friend house phone. He's a gang member. I'm like, I'm, who did I say that? Oh, I said that to the vlog camera. That's that a joke. Uh, oh, they, no, came in, they came in uh, here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They hey, were just here. They were here before you. Wow. Her and LTP with no baby. I thought the I saw Lena. I thought the baby was gonna be here. That would be great. I just, didn't. Just, I was like LTP. No, no. Yeah. You know my my kid has a new trick. What? It's called the teapot. They just make like the really really loud screaming noise. Mm. I can't make noise. <laughs> that does not sound like a teapot. She like, just does the super high pitched squeal. She like realizes she could, she has this power inside. She found that part of her voice and she does it over and over and over. I Listen. woke up today to just <laughs> I wish I could like more accurately display it. You gotta get it on video next time. Oh, we got it. It was so fucking funny, bro. You know what my son does now? Just throws everything over his head. He just found the power. <laughs> that Kadama, the first Kadama he got, has destroyed a lot of shit. I can't wait till I could join in on these convos with y'all. You just busting somebody. Breathe. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Man. Tell her that you want her to have the child. I was walking out, and she was like, I'm not buying the plan B. And I was like, please don't. What, what, how is it not understood that she's not on the rag or that she's not on the pill? I was walking out. How is every girl not on the pill? A lot of, a lot of them not. Yeah. Why? Like, I don't understand. Although I do remember when Lena got off the pill because she didn't want to weigh like four pounds more. I know. I'm about to say the pill, the <laughs> fucking plan B, I mean, the fucking pill makes you fat. Yeah, but not that much. I mean, if you're eating enough Reese's Pieces. Yes. <laughs> Pieces? Yes. I, guess I don't know. A I think a lot of girls really don't want their shit fucked up too to where like, what if they want kids in the future and they're like, damn, this shit could potentially fuck but it up. But I don't up. think that the but the it could potentially. does that. I think it enough could. plan B's do that. Yeah. I don't think birth control does that. I think all that shit does that. Yeah. Can I just mention again? I'm vaccinated. You got two? Nope. You're half dead, nigga. <laughs> <I'm> half vaccinated. <laughs> I've been breathing in people's faces. When I was walking around playing oh Pokemon on God. Saturday, there was mad people not wearing masks, though. I, of that, course not. Saturday was the first day that I really felt like, well, maybe this is like over. Or at least a lot of people Fuck are acting no. like it's over. No, no, no. That's why they need to shut it back down. Speaking of breathing in people's faces, 
The that Uber video shit. of the mm-hmm. girls in the Uber coughing at the mm. fucking driver, snatching his phone, squaring up on him. They need to be beat. I've seen two versions of that, though. What do you mean two versions? They The girl posted up a video as well, too. And said what? Nigga, they were... All, all he said was, can y'all... Allegedly, all he said was, can y'all put your mask on? What I, what I seen was, they, he was just like, I'm going to drop you off there. They was like, don't drop us off in the hood. No, but it's like, it's because they were being mad, disrespectful, but, and being crazy. Yeah. But listen, at the end of the day, as an Uber driver, if you feel... You Uber driver? No, my mom was driving Uber, uh-huh. and if these bitches ever did that to my mom, I would have pulled up with the glizzy and aired them out. Ask your mom for the information so you can go track them down? No, she would have called me in the middle of the ride, and I would have pulled up. But I'm saying, as a driver, you got yeah. the right if motherfuckers is in... It's like, that's your private property. That's your car. And like if he was outside, whatever, okay, you don't gotta wear a mask, whatever. You're in this nigga car oh, I totally paying agree. him for a service. You gotta either wear the mask. He even said that he was uh, you need to wear a mask in public because it's just so disrespectful to everybody else. Yes, in well, six months it might be different. In a year, it'll but probably definitely pub- be different. Not even in public. In you in this nigga's car. I know, that's fucked up. That's disgusting. And then they like fake coughed on them, was like, ha ha, and I got corona. Like these bitches were on but some sh- shit. She's trying to like sue Uber now. For what? You what assaulted him. Yeah. That, if anything, that was, that was you wild. might get wild. in trouble. Definitely. Just, you, you know what's crazy about this COVID shit now is that everybody's just, not everybody, but like people are just running around like assaulting fucking Asian people. Yeah, why? What, what? is that? That's it's, because of, they think because of COVID, like that's why they're doing that? I think that's a large part of it is that they like blame Asian people for the lockdown. Yo, so they're the just out there. Fuck? I think that's because of Trump. And the so, China flu. He definitely helped make it worse. But I wanted to ask you guys, have either of you guys done this? Because I would like you to pledge that what, you won't do it. attack Asian? Yes. No, I love my Asian family. If you have, I want you to pledge that you won't do it again. My nigga, I went to the Asian fucking yeah, march, bro. I know. Really yes. But was that just a tricky cover for <laughs> your past violence against Asians? No, it's just because I have Asian friends and but I support them. When I asked YG about... <laughs> his bop, shitty bop, label bop, deal oh. he was like basically like he basically said that he feels like in large part him getting into a shitty record deal was karma for all the shitty things that he's done in his life and I was basically like <laughs> oh you mean like robbing all those Asian people and he was just kind of like <laughs> yeah. he was kind of like yeah like like that was the, the gist of what I got from that and you come from that era so can, can you tell us any flocking tales are you the police have you flocked no Flock of seagulls. I, I, I fl- what's it called? Fletched. <laughs> Fletched. Did you felch? You know what's crazy, That's bro? different. That's a totally different thing, AD. Look, you know what's crazy? I was in like high school during the like club kiss, like level 10 yeah. era parties or whatever. Actually, on Mad Lately, they had, uh, what's his name? Josh, give me some brand. They had Pusha Rod. My nigga Rod. Shout out to Rod. Shout but to Rod. I will say, Pusha Rod pressed me and all of my friends when we were like 14, 15. Why? At like a level 10 in the parking lot because we were trying to park somewhere and like, I don't really remember what happened, but just know it was push a rod and we were like 15 and they, were, and they were like 25. <laughs> we're like, yo, why he you wasn't niggas? that old? Bro, bro, them niggas was older than us for sure. Not like, no 10 year difference, bro. Bro, them niggas was at least like 21, yes. 20, and we was like 15. Why are you at level 10 at 14? Bro, we 15? was lit. What you mean? <laughs> hey, shout out to the Stooge Life. We about to smoke a big fat blunt of this Stooge Life. Oh, my. My God, here we go. Indio Royal cre- gra- Cream. Kind Shut of hard up. to read on the sticker, but. Shut up. But I will say, crazy. look, I will say in that era, bro, like, wh- like, niggas outside of LA didn't understand that just because niggas had like colorful skinny jeans on and like, you know, eyebrow piercings that they was not, like, they oh, was with the Everybody shits. had a blammy. Bro, in the skinny jeans, tuck. Yeah. So look, there was times where like, there was this one time where we went to like a show that YG was supposed to be performing at. Uh-huh. And I think that he like flocked the house or some shit. Like, allegedly. Bo- allegedly flocked the house before that or something and got arrested and never came to the show. If you're on the level where you can sell out Allegedly. a big rap show, you should not be running up in Ling Ling's well, house on the way there. Although <laughs> I'm sure that Draco he wasn't that has big done yet. that exact thing. <laughs> he wasn't that big yet. Right. but and, and allegedly, don't put that on Draco. Draco's Draco 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 another person who's made a fucking million songs about just robbing the Asians. No, I can't believe that like YG made an instruction manual on how to do it. That, that was, was hard. That was the, one of the hardest songs. And then yeah. TJX6 took it a whole wow, new level. he did. But he oh. didn't... Rob. No, I'm talking about with the scam. Yeah, with the scam. Yeah, 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 he, yeah, just, he just explained how to scam people. <laughs> and he didn't He didn't run up in any Asian people's houses as no, far as I know. He was just saying that it's kind of like the same concept of like taking mm. criminal activity and explaining how you do it onto a song. 
But the thing is, is that like a lot of what TJ was saying when he first came out that sounded really like scary and crazy, scary wasn't really true. <laughs> like a lot of his scamming instructions, like if you really know about scamming, and I've heard this from a bunch of people, including Yachty, like they just didn't really make that much sense. They were, like, but weren't that's why really was... useful. But if you don't know how to scam, you were hearing it like myself. I don't know how the fuck people scam nowadays. I was like, wow, like he's talking about how to hack a Bitcoin machine. <laughs> this is that's cool. why it was fire though. Yeah. yeah. Because it just like painted this crazy picture. Even and we, we need to understand. hack a Bitcoin machine now more than ever. Man, for real. Let's do it. You do it. We got we to gotta get on this NFT shit, man. That's what we got to get on. I know. I, I want to go on record as saying that I'm very skeptical. Of the NFT? You want to know what's crazy yes, about that shit? I'm not totally right. open-minded. Or not totally closed-minded. Okay. What are you skeptical about? The idea that these things are going to actually like gain value and that mm -hmm. people are going to actually give a fuck about this. That's in the what future. I was thinking about. It's too. just I'm very skeptical. Somebody asked me about that for a fucking at my, on my show. They're like, who owns the rights to the show? You should NFT it. And I was like, what the fuck is NFT? Yeah. But can you actually make an NFT of a whole podcast? No, like, I, don't I mean, know. I guess. I mean. Shit, we gotta we gotta do some research. I've seen people doing it from like porn clips and like nudes and stuff. Uh, Soldier Boy is selling his tweets, so you can buy the NFTs wow, of his what tweets the fuck? for like five, six, seven hundred bucks. I was that is the most insane shit I've ever. The, the heard best in my life. thing though would be if you found like a super sus Soldier Boy tweet from back mm. in the day or something like a really embarrassing one, and you buy the NFT for that. Because I was thinking, why can't I buy the NFT for a young thug saying we smoking penises or like I hate when girls die. Yo, but you know, he de <laughs> he deleted the We Smoke a Penises tweet at some point, I believe, because mm -hmm. it was just kept getting re retweeted yeah, so much. He should have just kept it going for life. How do you feel about that? Young Thug tweeting We Smoke in Penises. Thug's a real nigga, Kyle. I'm just going to leave it like that. But have you smoked a penis? Would you smoke a penis with him? Please he was just please saying don't, that. Please don't put none of that on me. He was just like, like Young Thug just has a creative way of just saying anything, you know? So You're not slat enough. You're not slime enough. The homie Midman got this song called I'm, Smoke I'm, a Penis. <laughs> look, look, look. There, there, there's your OnlyFans the uh, only commercial. Fans, only fans brain taking over. Look, my, my homie Midman, he got a song called I'm a Crip Nigga, Not a Slap. Wait, S super his hard. name is Midman? Yeah, because he got I the I like mid. that. Bro, he's hard, bro. Rap is He's such, from Mid-City, too. He's fire. The way rap is these days is that like that counts as a hard bar, that you could just say, like I'm this and not that, and everybody will be like, damn. <laughs> well, the whole song is just I'm a Crip Nigga, Not a Slap. I Crip mean, when I first heard stuff. Little House one, I was like, "Exactly, that is the most so unique that, fucking yeah. name ever." It's so weird when I say like something about House Phone to someone, and, and, they're, like, they're, and they want to laugh about it because it's like the first time they heard it. And they're like, ha, 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 "What a funny you know, name!" My okay. uncle said that he was like, "Who the fuck is <laughs> House Phone?" <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, dude. When they dropped the Day in Vegas flyer and the Rolling Loud flyers with my name on them, uh, all the like, literally, the comments were like, "What the fuck is it?" <laughs> And my name was like at the bottom, bottom. So it was like, who the fuck we is need to, that? We need to find somebody name him Big Kandama or something. Big my, Kandama. My mom kept asking me if I was going to name my daughter Kandama. Like she thought that was that would a been great fire. joke. And then her nickname could have been Ken. <laughs> Ken. A super fire. Ken girl. Ken Kniff. Bro, you should have named your daughter at least Ken Kennedy. I'm changing her name to Sparky. I like that. Because oh, I, no. Ken is Sparky. No, because I call her Parky. No, and Parker, Parky, and then Sparky then, got killed in the WandaVision. What I the fuck is that? that yeah. What is WandaVision? It's yeah. some superhero shit, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sparky got, Sparky got, wait, got, what, got what, smoked. What's the name of that show y'all were talking about that was like the superheroes, but it's realistic? The, the boys. boys. Crazy. I'm going to tap in with that. The that show was hard. One of the best fucking shows ever. There's one season, right? Not two? There's three, I think, right? Three? No, no, season two was two. just this over. They yeah. need to drop season two of that shit ASAP. Season three. So you can, it's three. So y'all can see that AD has Homelander vibes. <laughs> no, you have Homelander vibes. We need season I'm more, three. I'm more H Rain. Pause. Isn't he just black? Yep. That's, that's the only <laughs> thing you have in common. Isn't he just black? <laughs> I just, I can't, I, it's been so long, I can't remember what character is. I, I don't want to be the deep. The deep. Because he's all emo and shit. And oh, he, was, he tried to get a blowjob out yeah. of that girl. Yeah. He, he, he just, he, that was bad. I fuck with her. She's a good person. We need season yeah. three of you. Mm, they do Man. need to bring you back. I haven't seen you at all. What oh has happened God, in the watch. news? What, what do we need to... What were the topics that we actually were saying? I got we a topic we could talk about. Hit me. Papa John's, man. Tell me he did 20 months <laughs> to stop saying the N-word. I'm like, what the fuck? Such commitment right there. Like, wow. I, I, I really think he's such a brave guy for, for working for 20 months. Can you imagine waking up every day and that's the thing you're working on is just not saying, saying the N-word. Bro, they made the memes of... <laughs> 
<laughs> the memes was fucking amazing, like bro. What? what were they doing? Like, like they, they had training in the facility. They had like they, they had like the the fucking grease. You know when you type certain letters on the fucking keyboard yeah. Yeah. and it's grease and the grease is all on spelling that word out. Wow. Wow. Yes, bro. But he's just like, yeah. I'm like, whoever lets Papa John's get in front of the fucking camera in interviews, this is the second time. Because let, let me remind you what his initial uh, offense was. His initial thing that got him fired out of his position, and it was kind of controversial all the time, he was talking about the N-word. He said, I, I forget exactly Why? what it was, but he was saying something like, oh, like, they shouldn't say this, and he actually said it. It was yes. that kind of thing. But why? <laughs> right. Why, why did he have to? We why did anyone ask him about that? Right. Why? Like, but, but there was some like logical context okay. in which it was being discussed, okay, which okay. doesn't excuse why he felt the need to say it. Yeah, yeah. But that's one thing that he he. And, you know, we we could all like apply some degree of stupidity to that. Like, mm -hmm. why why did you feel the need to do that? But doesn't seem like you're an actual racist. Then he does this interview years and years <laughs> later and says that he's been working <laughs> hard for months. twenty <laughs> months. Is that actually what he said in the clip? Like, that like, is what he... I watched it enough. I'm like, like does he, he have to rinse in the morning? Like, he might have said a bunch of other stuff after that clip that clarified that actually it's very easy for him to not say it. But, you know, you know it, I imagine that if we were to take the worst Klansman, the most racist Klansman, and we were to be like, yo, if, if he were to say, I don't want to say the N-word anymore, I'm going to stop. I feel like he could probably make it through the next 24 hours not saying it. Bro. Not they, Papa John. They had a meme. He's working hard. They had a 20 meme, months. They said he's looking in the mirror was like, you're only going to say the word three <laughs> times today. <laughs> it takes 20 he months. He had to like dial to it back. Go, hey, bro, he's looking at in the mirror. You're only going to say this word three <laughs> times today. <laughs> Why did he think that was a good thing to say? And they said they had another meme that was like, uh, they said when when a uh, uh, gold digger comes on, <laughs> Papa John's guy just starts sweating. I was like, oh my god! What if the reason why this is so hard for him because he's such a rap fan? And that's all he listens to. And he just can't Bro, get it out. They could have the sent Uncle John to do the press conference. Why Who's Papa John? Uncle John? I don't know. Oh, somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody that's connected to him. Well, the thing is, is that he doesn't even work for Papa John's anymore. So yeah, he's speaking as an independent pizza man to, who apparently <laughs> says that word a lot. <laughs> no, but like Papa John. This was also this was always my thing. Like, is he Papa John? Like yes, he he's is, Papa John. He is Papa John. He was the OG, but the brand lives on without him. So is his name even John at all? I think so. He's, he's John. John. He's Papa right? John. But, so how are you going to kick me out? Papa John the did nigga he found? Did he found Papa John's pizza? I or believe. did they just hire him? I as believe, like a but nigga. also I found out Lori Harvey is not actually Steve Harvey's daughter. So there's you a lot. Like, that? It's like stepdaughter. I brought that up like a couple months ago, I think. But yeah. It's like stepdaughter. Well, it's not they really. changed Jake from State Farm from a white guy to a black guy. Did they? Yes. Wow, I didn't know that. And then the nigga from Verizon went to Sprint. And that they, was a boss move right there. And they got rid of Apu. Because it was racist to have and, an Indian character on a TV show. <laughs> and they just got rid of Pepe, Pepe Le, Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew. Which probably offends you as somebody who also loves to sexually harass. Who? <laughs> <laughs> who? Who? He's like looking who? around like it's like, not a podcast. I'm like, like I'm just talking about somebody else. I'm like, I'm like, this. I'm like me or him. Yeah, I'm like this. It ain't me. You were looking at AD when you said that. I don't, I don't really like remember that much about what Pepe Le Pew was doing. Me. Pepe Le Pew did have like rapey vibes. Really? Yeah. yeah. What he was he doing? Was, he's it, like a stalker, bro. His whole character was like, oh, I'm trying to have, make you consent to having sex with me. Like he was just yes. like super <laughs> creepy, like just all <laughs> over every girl i don't really remember that well to be but honest it's like, like from my childhood cartoon and they were like painting that so the kids would be like hey you don't want to be like this character um, but also i don't think that's what they were doing but you also think that's what they were doing i think they were just like okay he's gonna be the rapey guy on the show the rapey skunk the rapey <laughs> skunk yeah like, it all kind of plays into the character he's a skunk he's like slimy and mm. weird no but the character is like because you know one stereotype about the french would be that they're all oh. like super mm. romantic like aggressive okay. lovers Sexual. or whatever not really a stereotype that you really hear that much about these days but yeah. back then i'm pretty sure that's what the primary like stereotype was there i just feel like there's a way of like you know not promoting those type of like ideologies without Without like 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 you can ha you can show different aspects of life, yeah, in a fucking cartoon. You, you should know? be able to to have a character who has bad character traits, and it should be then represented through the work of art. Yeah, that 
he I think has bad they, character traits. Like I would love to see Pepe Le Pew in that, but that's what they ended up coming out saying is that he had already been removed from uh, the uh-huh. Space Jam or whatever for like a really long time, and that in the actual scene that they had written for him, LeBron James was teaching Pepe Le Pew about consent. That's fire. That that would be a great <laughs> bro. What they I need to make a too. I'm gonna <laughs> make a petition <laughs> to put that back in the fucking movie. Bro, I, if, I just imagine watching that. That sounds fire as fuck. And LeBron James is like cool and nice, and he's like, "Yo, Pepe. he's like Peppy, keep you your dick in your pants, Peppy." <laughs> like, okay, wait, wait. Did you? I also, wish he said you little like skunk that. dick. Did you also see that? Like, I don't know. Some girl posted this. It was like uh, a tweet that was like, "Oh, like ban rape scenes from movies or some shit like that." Really? They should. Yeah, they should like, though. That's extreme. No, 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 no. I mean, listen. Let, you could present something in a way that's, that's what not I'm saying. Mega offensive. Wait, wait, wait. Don't but you let think? me. But let me say. No, nah, let me say this though. I was in high school. With the love of my life at the time, we went to go see the girl with the dragon tattoo. And that scene where she got assaulted, that was disturbing. she started breaking down crying in the middle of the movie theater because it was very intense, bro. Yeah. Right. It was weird. It was like, you don't need it to be that intense. Okay, but that- I would say that I think that if a movie is going to have that kind of stuff, that there probably should be some kind of warning because if it is intense enough, then yeah, you don't really want to like trigger somebody. But, but just because it would be triggering for some people doesn't mean that it shouldn't be represented in art at all. Like I, I like the, the it, door shouldn't be closed yeah. on people being able it, to make art about it's, their it's lived the, experience. It's the context of it, yeah, yeah, because it, it kind of could make people like. Okay, yeah. this is very fucking terrible what happened to this person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Make well, it more look, sympathetic. Well, see, look, so the thing with that, with this specific movie and this specific scene, it was that, like, that was a crucial part of, like, the movie and the story of, like, how she went back and got her revenge and all that shit, right? Mm-hmm. But I feel like the way that they showed it was so graphic yeah. and so in your face. That like I literally had this experience at a young age. I was like seventeen. This girl next to me is literally bawling her eyes out because this shit was like you know, and that shit happened to her. So I was like, damn. Like honestly, when you when you go through experiences like that as a man, as at a young age, and you see women react to different shit like that, it kind of changes your, especially if it's a woman you really care about. Uh, that shit changes your perception it, on a lot of things. You, you know, you know what's sad too is that. That's happened a lot in my life. I've seen women yeah. experience that shit, bro. Yeah, this is it's, a fact. And then it's like, there's a there's some guys, bro, that I used to be super, super cool with. And yep. they, women would tell me, like, he tried to do this to me, tried to do this to me. Yep. And I'm like, oh, I can't fuck, fuck, that with, nigga, fuck yeah. with this nigga. Fuck that nigga. Like, that's some, that's some weirdo shit right there. On yeah, you know bro. what I find, though, is like... <laughs> holding my tongue there's somebody (laughs) that recently was associated Mm. with me in some way and it's like people said that shit about him and it was like i kind of like tried to ignore it and then like i just started to like realize there was like a lot of other sketchy shit that went along like the person just seemed really fucked up in general and it's kind of like if you really believe that somebody's fucked up like it feels like it, it's going to manifest itself in multiple ways, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, those types of people, you usually just end up, like, sort of spotting it in a, in other That's ways. true. I don't know. Um, Remind me off camera to... I would love to tell you. <laughs> I would love to have this conversation off camera about somebody that I fucking was upset with. Shout out with to Papa John's. Recently. <laughs> to Papa John's. Do we want to shout him out? Well, but that, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody should be more mad about this than the people who actually own and work at Papa John's because yeah. you have your ex-employee who unfortunately has the same name as your business going on TV and saying stuff that is just so unnecessarily stupid. He would have been so much better off not saying that. And the company would all like because so many people are just going to attribute this to the company, even though he's been gone yeah. for mad long. You know what's you know what's funny? The fact that like companies are like in tune with like Twitter and funny shit now. Like mm. there there was some girl that tweeted a picture of Wingstop fries, and she was like, "Whoever decided to put sugar in these fries deserve they dick suck." And Wingstop replied to the tweet. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, "Wonder who did that." <laughs> <laughs> like that is hilarious, bro. The fact that like that's they like Wendy's just, Twitter though. That's what I'm saying. They put out a whole album, remember? Yeah. And they were like beefing with vegans mm. or some shit like that. <laughs> Something else happened recently. <laughs> what? What happened? I guess Burger King. Yes, this is happened, what I was about yeah. to bring up. Yeah. Burger King is made a, a campaign. Women belong in. The, what was it? They Women just, belong in the kitchen. <laughs> they 
Burger King UK. <laughs> they tweeted what? out. Yes. Okay. Burger King UK or some sort. Of, they tweeted the out. Fuck up. Women belong in the kitchen. <laughs> yep. Then they wait a couple hours. The shit goes ridiculously viral. <laughs> and then they do a follow up tweet that basically said that that tweet was meant to draw attention to the fact that like the, the, the force of cooks in the in the American workforce is like only like twenty percent female and women should feel comfortable uh, becoming cooks and stuff. And they're gonna put them to culinary art school. So why the fuck why would you any troll? woman want to be told this? You too can be a fry cook at Burger King. Like, like SpongeBob. Do we need to encourage women to do this job more, or can we just accept that? Okay, these men are apparently the only ones who want to spend their day getting hot grease shot up onto their face while they're cooking fries. Okay, it's okay for women if you don't want to work in that line of work. I see where they were going. I do not see where they I were see going. What they were trying to do, but they did not execute that right. They at all. issued a formal apology uh, for the tweet. I feel like you have to be so tone deaf to think you're going to get that joke, or not even joke, but like you're going to have people be like, "Okay, they were trying to say something good." Like, no, nigga, you just don't have to say that. If that's what you wanted to do, you should have just came out and said, "We want to put a bunch of women in through culinary school." Blah blah blah. Like you didn't have to like bait with the joke. I want to tell. They try to do a bait and switch. All the women out there, it is so okay for you to not work the fry cooker at Burger <laughs> King. Like if you want to take care of your kids, what if that's not what they meant. Or what whatever they, you said, you said they they were sending people to culinary school. But, but right? that okay, that Burger the, King shouldn't yeah. be the ones doing that. If fucking mm. Roots Chris wants to say, hey, like mm. but that's probably good benefits. Roots I can think of a million ways that Burger. But th that's the whole thing though too. Is that the only reason why we're talking about this is because they put out the really offensive that's tweet. Exactly. And if they hadn't done that none of if they had said something reasonable like oh, well, more would. women should be cooks but if they just posted nobody that fucking that, it would have got a hundred likes nobody would care <laughs> they did that because and that's why i don't think anyone's really mad at burger king is because everybody knows exactly what they were doing they were saying something to get a reaction we all fell for it we all talked about burger king who nobody talks like about ago. nobody talks about burger king besides the house phone ever <laughs> i went there a week ago i think papa john's did their marketing Imagine they had dropped an N-word tweet. That would have been even more oh exciting. Oh, my God. What if it would have been like Burger King is down with the niggas? Oh, my God. Can you imagine <laughs> that? It's not even funny. Or like <laughs> Burger Burger King. Burger niggas. Burger, Burger King is merging with Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> Burger King is merging with Popeye's. Does it make anybody else really sad when you see the Dairy Queen slash Orange Julius and you realize that both of these businesses are not strong enough to operate their own retail facility and that they've had to join forces in order to get people but to actually who do the it fuck goes a dairy queen <laughs> <laughs> the only dairy queen i've ever been to is uh inside of the south big galleria now orange julius though it's pretty well, have you never seen an orange Julius by itself it had to be with a dairy queen has it been that way for so long that you can't even I, imagine it before that i've never seen an orange julius by that's itself. like kfc and pizza or like Long John Silver and KFC. I've never had Long John that Silver. That shit's fire. You haven't? No. You like Long John Silver? I fuck with it, yeah. It's good, honestly. See, that's out your way, though. Yeah, you already know. I already know. I know. You already know. <laughs> right by, yeah, you can see by the casino. I know which one you're going to. <laughs> AD knows what's up, bro. It's, man, we, we close by. Oh, I knew this wood was no good. God damn it. I, I knew, knew this wood. That's dry. what she said. I knew this wood was too fucking dry. It tore as soon as I tried to do it. Speaking of woods, do y'all remember... Uh, Back in the day when niggas used to wear the wood and Jesus pieces, yeah, it was it called Goodwood, yeah, it was a brand. See, mm. no, but they but they were so popular, they have fake ones in the mall. But the, you know, you had the official one if you turned it around and it said Goodwood on the back. I engraved. had a cousin that was making them, bro. That's what I'm saying, niggas was making them. I'm like, nigga, when did you how did you learn to make this? Nah, I'm gonna be honest though, I think one time, like, the homie like turned my shit around and there was nothing on it. He was like, oh, you got the fake one. I was like, no, I don't. <laughs> Can't you just carve something in to make it real? Nah, it was like in, their whole logo, like mm -hmm. embroidered in the back, like Goodwood. Yeah, I, I'm, I wonder if people was getting splinters back then <laughs> <laughs> on their fucking neck. Yo, you remember the POW chains and the POW rings? It was like it said like POW on it, like neon colors. Yeah, it, it was, was nigga look like Ben Ten. You bro, know, you know who fire. had a fire chain? Who? who? Eddie Murphy when he was getting off the plane and going to stay in Queens. Mm. Eddie Murphy, oh, come to America, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ain't it funny he had all that fucking shit <laughs> in the apartment? And they took it all. <laughs> took it all. And he, he's so convinced that he needs to, yo, he's getting a hand job in the middle of the movies or the basketball game or whatever, and the girl's just jerking him off. 
That shit was fire. Amazing. I love that Eddie Murphy had this whole period in time where he just got to play tons of roles as just a bad motherfucker who got tons of pussy. Yeah. Yeah. That was it just, was an era. He was just born to be a bachelor. Yeah. He that, was a that nigga. Was, that was what it was about. I love that you were really tapped into this, honestly. Hey, when you watch The Wood, it's going to change your life. God damn it. I almost, I almost don't want to watch it because you keep talking about it. It's no, very it's, good. It's very classic, bro. It's very this good. This wood's kind of fucked up, too. The Wood. The Wood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You thought that was so uh, funny, bro, huh? This this is bothering me. You just you're yeah, up you just left and your, your daughter <laughs> and Lena is just just slumped over on the they fucking floor. They both fell it's because yeah, these are this is a prototype, and so Lena is not balanced right. Like they have to like put like a different weight in it or some shit mm. so that it will like stay together not better or so that it will stand up better. And so as a result, Lena kind of falls over a little bit. You know what it is? It's because the heads are so big on all of them. Yeah. And then, but see, you're balanced on the bike. So that's why. So I have a nice low center of balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want them to make one of me. I was just thinking that too. Talk to them. They could do that. Yeah. Maybe make you an OT. Plug oh me God, in. That'd be funny. Oh my God, that guy, <laughs> this guy, and this this guy posted a picture of OT. He was like, "Can't believe I met at the baby." <laughs> I was fucking dead. Do you bro. think like is he trolling? Nah, he was definitely trolling. Oh, he was trolling oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's why it was funny because I was just like. So can we talk about uh, BFB the Pac Man finally getting some attention? Oh from Lizzo? my God, he's Man- a fucking goat. manifestation. Yeah, right, dude. Honestly, he impresses me more and more every week of just being like. He just being a guy you really want to root for, you know? Yeah. For like, sure, for like, sure. Fuck, man. I'm rooting for him because I so don't want to have sex with Lizzo, and I think it's great that he wants to. You I know? do. You want to. Mm-hmm. Bro, she's a beautiful queen, honestly. Beautiful. Shout out to her. Really not my and, type. And, you know, BFB the Pac-Man is really putting on for the big bros right now. Like, he's mm. going... Like You put yourself be- in that category? You think you and him are kind of like... <laughs> are you closer to, like, him than... You're like CFB. <laughs> Then like OT, CFB, skinny guy, I'm guy. DFB. No, remember when, remember when Soldier Boy was like making everybody in rap get eating disorders? Skinny huh? N words, running, running shit. shit. Skinny, skinny niggas running, running shit. shit. How do you remember that? I love that song. I thought that Did was you learned so- that from Papa John. No, that's why you, you notice how I censor myself there. Papa John would never. No, Papa John would I never. Like, I like how you always censor you doing the news. He like this. The, 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 <laughs> it's way <laughs> smoother than because I feel stupid when I'm like quoting somebody and I'm like. He said, hey, dude, what's up, man? Like, I'm just, like, adding in my fucking sense version. I'm like, because I'm, I'm, like, misquoting them. Laura's That's not like, what yeah. they, That's, If they didn't say that, I don't want to be <laughs> quoting them as saying dude when they didn't say dude. And yeah. then, there's been a couple of times where we've been reading the script, and it was, like, a rapper saying dude, like, 20 times. And I'm like, did they censor this for us in, 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 in advance? Because I don't think I've ever heard a rapper say dude this many times. I was watching this like tick my bad. I was watching this TikTok of uh, this nigga like this white kid like re singing this Lucky song, and he kept saying hitters instead of niggas. <laughs> Yo, TikTok has forced so many white kids to like come up with like cool mechanisms so that they don't have to say the n word. And then the, the main one that they do is they go. <laughs> <laughs> they all, it's so lame. Wait, I seen Al Pacino in a movie saying it. I was like, what the fuck? He was yeah. like, can I say it? Can I say it? He was doing Today Was a Good Day by Ice Cube. Really? He was rapping it in and, a movie. And he said the N-word. Al Pacino. And how'd you feel about it? I don't know Al Pacino. Fucking, um... Oh. Yeah, I was going to um, say. Not man. Al Pacino. <laughs> Same. God damn it. He's, uh, what's, he's one of the biggest fucking... Al Borland. No, fuck Robert De Niro. Oh, I believe that more than Al Pacino. Yeah. Why do I believe that more? And so how did you feel about it? You ever seen that movie Heat with both of them? Pause. Great movie. Anybody got a poker? I, I got something that'll poke you. Oh, my God. <laughs> a blicky? I was talking about my knife, not my oh. penis. Y'all, y'all sus meter it. today is like. I've been trying to get gay. I said that. I said. <laughs> I, I said that. Ad looked cute in his, on his Instagram, and someone was in the comments like, "Here comes sus boy." <laughs> I asked them. I asked those girls today on the podcast how they actually felt about me exposing that you had fake teeth, and everybody seemed to kind of agree that like that's inappropriate. That yeah, if everybody somebody compliments your boys anything, and my a I, lot of people been hitting me up talking about. Bro, I heard you got fake teeth. I'm like, my bro. quote though, my thing that I said to them is, I'm just not used to having homies who've had work done. Mm. You were just being a hater. Now I do. I got a homie you with a BBL a and <laughs> oh my God. A, a homie with stomach staple surgery and a homie <laughs> with fake teeth. And I'm just not used to that. You're like a fucking Pam Anderson type over here. You got all <laughs> kinds of work done. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Adam. He's like Kim K. 
It's like Kim K. Honestly, you got the fake fatty. If if I wasn't the fake, fake fatty. fatty, if you ever saw AD and thought, "Ooh, he's got a nice ass," no, huh? bro, you, I bro, can't, I can't isn't fake. Hey, I'm all never, I'm never is, walking in front of you again. Now you got a BBL. You fucking ruined it. All this weed is falling, falling out. I got it now. Oh, okay. Oh, you just got it packed. I in keep there. looking at my shirt and thinking that. I dropped weed on my shirt and then I remember it's sparkling. Hey, it's sparkly. Funk Flex, I watched Funk Flex get his operation he put on his Instagram. Wait, what? Pause. What operation? That nigga was getting like lipo and put on his Instagram. No way. Hell yeah. yeah. You didn't see that? No, you know, I, don't, I don't follow Funk Flex. I'm sorry. It was a whole viral yeah. thing because he not only did it, but he was shouting out the place to, that did While it, like, he was doing it? Yes. Like, like they're like shanking him. Yes. He's like, yo, shout out to my. No, 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 no. <laughs> he's no, on the no. table. They're like, it's doing like what? No, he's on the you're table. You're getting like a free like $5,000 worth of surgery. You could have just not told everybody and they would have just probably not even known. Uh, this girl just sent me like her post op BBL pictures, literally as like she just got it done like yesterday. How do you feel about it's that? Very though? bloody because and th- bruised. If you are a guy who likes a really fake plasticky woman, it doesn't feel good. There's no better time to get in there than right after the BBL because their their body is like all swollen and hard and like in rock. Shape. You want to like, you want to fuck a bruised woman like that? Yeah, I don't no. want to. Uh, but I'm saying I don't think that would even be to, that would even feel good for them. It's at not all. even like bruised. It's just like nah. This girl no, was bruised, bruised. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. bro. It was like terrible. That? Allegedly. <laughs> okay, this is a real thing. Would, you, would you would you unwrap the gauze and then squeeze all the juice into a cup and then drink it? That's no. some sick shit, bro. No. That is no, some I sick shit. But how I don't like, even think of some shit like that. How the kind of girl that like pays girls? The kind of girl. To, I'm the kind <laughs> of girl. He's the kind of dude who, who pays girls to like jar a fart and mail it to him so he can just sniff it straight out the jar. You strike me as that type, bro. I would wear this girl's used pa- if she wore the same panties for a week. I would use them. I would use it as a face mask and covering. He's gonna make a best of clip from this podcast and send it to her. Like, look at all the nice things I said about you. This is ridiculous. Now, this is really how I feel. Ad seen it. I seen what? I showed you on the phone. Oh, like, girl? You see, bro, come on. I would, bro. Ad seen it. I would have went in raw too, man. Let me throw. Yo, this relax. Out there. Yo, 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 yo. You said it already. No, I did. I didn't say anything, oh, guys. Can I? Mind. Can I get a round of applause for this podcast? <laughs> Julia Fox. Put us on her Instagram Put story. Me, not us. All me. All of us. We were all me. there. We were all there. And we were talking about how she shouldn't have got pregnant. She probably didn't like Who that. Who's Julia Fox? No, she loved it. Then we talked about this you last You are racist. Week. The girl from Uncut Gems. Oh, okay. Bro, she. Watch it again. She got a nice booty, my friend. That's nice a, turd. That was, that was Adam Bro. Sandler's like, little chick on there, right? Not she, little chick. That was his main. Yeah, the, the one it, he was going crazy over. She Bro, had a killer turd cutter. Over. Her turd cutter was. So this is what happened. So somebody uploaded that clip on Instagram of just that. Adam, po- Adam posted it first, and I was laughed at it. And then I I posted it too, oh. and I tagged Julia Fox. Okay, big as fuck. Literally twenty minutes later, I see Julia Fox mentioned you, and I was like, <laughs> he had hey, to go OT like, on him. I was like, you like OT, OT on him, <laughs> bro. He said, Julia- bro. I'm sorry. How do you make something out of that, though? Do you message her and say, uh, like, no, hey, no, no, no. Wait, wait, I know me. you got a baby on the way. You want another one? I'm hey, right here for you. Hey, throw me my phone real quick. I got to read you the message that I sent before. Oh, no. You messaged her? I had messaged her before that. Saying what? I'm going to read it to you. <laughs> right, this, this, this is going to be amazing. I don't know if she's seen it or not, though. It's so weird to imagine her as, like, a real actress having to deal with this because you'd think that, like, a social media star type chick is probably more used to it. She's like real famous. She is kind fam- of. But when I you was, got a blue check, I think that people are going to look at. To that's at least a fact. See. But that's why. But that's why I was so um, confused that she wrote back. I mean, that she even saw it that fast. Who put a kid in her? I think she posted the dude, and I was like, oh, so sad. <sighs> you're the one. Let me read it. Let me read it. No, because it's going to ruin shit with your new girl. Let me yeah. see it. This is old. Sometimes Adam, sometimes Adam is a real nigga. Hey, no, but that's old. why you this should read old. it. That's old. It's from before. It is old. It is old. Let it is old. It. And if it's not old, like just you. act like it's old. No, it's old. Look, what Let does that say? February 6th. It says 2017. <laughs> You're the woman of my dreams. <laughs> so effortlessly beautiful and stunning. Your smile can light up any room and your eyes can captivate any heart. I've never <laughs> seen a film and been so obsessed with the actress in it afterwards. <laughs> I had to find you and tell you how much of an amazing job you did. Hope you have a great day. Also, I own a shoe brand called Hot Roller 777 and would love to book you for a modeling job. If you are interested, let me know. Wait, wait, wait. When did you send this? In February. 
February. Bro, you sound like you said fucking 2017. Alfalfa, bro. I thought you said 2017. I was so she didn't confused. even. She didn't even. She That's was what like, I'm saying. She yeah. didn't work. <laughs> she was he working at Pop. He didn't get what I was doing. Yeah, now yeah, you yeah. fucking ruined it. Yeah. Uh, you didn't. Oh, damn. Man. Mind blown. Why would he have a shoe brand five years ago? <laughs> <laughs> and hey, she, why would she be in a movie? You're, a, you're a sick fuck for that. I'm pretty sure you didn't have a shoe brand four years ago. I, I thought she known. probably bro, was reading it like this. Bro, oh, I my God. She, this is the most beautiful thing I ever said. Oh, no. I literally thought she would never see that or never see anything. You got to wonder, like... Should does, I unsend it? Does someone yes, as bro. hot as her, does she sit around just sort no. of like skimming through her DMs, no looking at all the guys who want to fuck her, just no thinking way. like, ha, I would never sleep with him. <laughs> <laughs> him. Ha, I'll tease him. I'll put him on my story. Ha, ha, this pussy is not going anywhere. <laughs> That's ha, why you ha, have ha. to be the opposite. You just got to be like, hey, bitch. Yes. And no. Whoa. No, 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 no. Do you remember the K. Slay skit that began that one Cameron album where he said, hey, you know, Cam, like, when I met Cam, I told him, when you first meet a girl, you gotta just slap her. Nah, what? He, and he goes, no, no, no. Slap her? No. <laughs> Why are you gonna slap her? That way, she can't ever say, you don't treat me like you used to. <laughs> it seems That's so hilarious. offensive. <laughs> In today's modern lens, that sounds like about the most offensive thing you could imagine. And but at that time, please, it was just totally Please, normal. kids, do not assault women. Do but, not beat up yeah, your bitch. The, no. Please don't. Please don't beat your bitch up. But I'm not going to lie. In the context of a Cameron album, that being the intro, that sounds hilarious. I'm not going to lie. I'm still trying to get somebody to send me the clip from... There was an old Cameron mixtape, and there was a skit, and it's basically like... The girl that he's with goes into the bathroom and takes a shit, and then she comes oh, back yeah. and lays on his bed again, and he gets mad at her because I remember that. he's disgusted by the idea that she would lay on his bed after taking a shit, which blew my mind at the time. I'd never even crossed my mind. I'm, I had girls coming over my house taking shits and wiping their ass <laughs> with my actual sheets <laughs> and then just staying in the bed. And uh, yeah, you I was still slept there. I was astonished. My favorite Cameron skit. Was when they they were talking about uh, put the rubber on now it's all took the rubber off now it's all fire tonight mm. and he's describing him put your fucking dick on the board you know what I'm talking about yes I do she remember that classic. one that was kind of before I knew what it was like to have an STD so I didn't really understand and now you had 742 of them yeah you had several two yeah but uh, also, <laughs> no but Cameron is one of the only rappers who suffered from irritable bowel syndrome so he made a song oh called God. IBS no, about. He- Having IBS. Are you joking? No. I'm going through this right now. And, really? Bro, for like the past Too like much six d- months. Horse, horse tranquilizer. Josh, can you <laughs> put the lyrics to Cameron IBS on the screen with I'm, us on the this corner? This is about to be my theme song, And bro. We'll, we'll spark a blunt. And I want to, we can't play it, but I'll read you some of the lyrics. Here we go. This sounds amazing because weed. I didn't know that this was a thing until like last year. Like when, when COVID first started, like. That's I, when you found out about diarrhea? No, 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 no. I IBS. Was, I was, yeah, I was hanging out. I was hanging out with my friends and I would have to go to the bathroom all the time. And she was like, she was like, dude, I think you have IBS. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Check out like. Let me tell you a little story about myself. Okay, that's the intro. Yeah. Ulcers hurt my salary, altered my personality. <laughs> Give it to you real. I can't feed my culture no fallacy. You know my attitude. Arrogant, cocky, rude, eating off poppy food. <laughs> Used to be a stocky dude. Weighed 220. With two honeys, I move money. It's true, dummy. Dunny need a new tummy. <laughs> this is when we get into the diarrhea talk. I become berserk. It was no fun to work. <laughs> Every day my stomach hurt, oh. ripping off my undershirt. The pain was no comparison. Stomach started cherishing, throwing up in public. Yo, fuck it. It was embarrassing. Regurgitating. Green, yellow, burgundy, boom. But came my urgency soon. What? The emergency room. Bar. Yo, in there, what? no savage. Treated like a cold savage. They said pimping symptoms, huh? A dope addict. There you have it. But they ain't find no heroin. Coke, crack, dope, just weed, but that's my medicine. For the record, Cameron the goat. I, I'm not gonna read the rest of it right that there. Was fire. But the, the fact that he made a song for all of us out here who have diarrhea on a daily or weekly basis, like Josh, who can't eat a bowl of uh, milk without having to shit everywhere, I hear about it. A if I if a song for people like if him. I eat too much ice cream, it's a wrap. I'll be oh. dude. Cock and spray hit you from a block, block away. away. Mm. <laughs> Drinking sake on the Suzuki me and Osaka Dave. Bars. Bro. He was the GOAT. He was. I was very young, so I didn't really understand a lot of the shit he was talking about, but mm. I knew it was fire. Ben Baller introduced me to Cameron backstage at a music festival, and he, yeah. intro- he introduced me as like, 
this is the greatest rapper, the greatest rap interviewer alive or some wow, shit. Wow, that's kind of fire. I was like, wow, what an endorsement. Purple Haze is like, Purple oh, Haze shit. is amazing. Wait, wait, wait. Purple Haze is damn near perfect to me. Yeah. Speaking of uh, Ben Baller, a recent interview that you did has uh, re-sparked re a feud between him and academics. Going into that interview, I thought to myself like, oh, you know, <laughs> if we get around to it, it would be funny to ask him about the academics thing because for those who don't remember, <laughs> ben Baller was just doing his Ben Baller thing, observing Freddie and Act going at it on Twitter. Mm. And he comes out the woodwork and basically says, Academics getting destroyed by Freddie. Basically, mm. like, you know, gave his opinion of it. But Endorse, shit, not endorsing Freddie, yeah. 100% endorsing Freddie. Academics then, that night, got drunk, drunk on Twitch. And I, I think it might have been the same night that he came at Chrissy Teigen. Mm. Or it was at least that around sense. then. It makes sense, yeah. He went in on Ben Baller hard. And Ben Baller brought it up on the interview. Like, I didn't even have to try to fucking fit it in there. Like, I asked we'll see. YG all these Fed questions. <laughs> I just fucking... Ben Baller brought it up right away and just said he would beat his ass. And then I listened to academics <laughs> on Twitch talking about him again, calling him a scammer, saying he scammed Drake. Yeah, and that, he, that he's basically just like taking these like normal stones and shit and just like taxing the fuck out of them and acting like he got some special <laughs> shit but he and doesn't. I, I think I even said to Ben Baller on this podcast, I said, isn't everything in the jewelry business basically a, a scam? scam? Yeah, right. If that's a scam, like you're selling like relatively inexpensive rocks to people and charging them a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, you're really paying for the name of who did it and then the craftsmanship <laughs> of like, how nicely they put it together with the golds and medals. But, but and they shit. really benefit from the fact that we as consumers, not myself so much, but like <laughs> people as consumers, you know, is is this chain worth 200K? Is it worth 300K? What the fuck does the average person know? Like if they mm. want to get a chain, and, and that's like the high end of the spectrum. Like when you're selling, you know, smaller pieces and shit, like, oh, you're a rapper, you want to get a chain of your fucking label or whatever. Is it worth 5K? Is it worth 15K? It's and nobody knows. Yeah, that's the truth. You have no, to really no. be able to trust the jewelry. But you know, that's why you take but it you to can, the people. You can, you can tell, though, the different diamond qualities Hell and stuff. Yeah. Like AD shit, bust it. Yeah. If you know a little something. Same reason everybody gets jug for weed. That's so or, or not weed. I meant to say lean. Just but whatever. We, it's true yeah. for weed as well. Yeah. But, but when you wear <laughs> motherfuckers don't when know. You wear I didn't jewelry, know. Like in the clubs and shit, or when you go somewhere in a certain light mm -hmm. you, and you stand next to people that have other diamonds, you could be like, okay, your shit is like the lowest. And then they have lab diamonds now. I was bro. finna say, like, they got these, like, they got ones that are not really, they're not natural diamonds. You feel me? They're and, grown in a lab. Yeah, Mo in moissanite, a lab. moissanite diamonds <laughs> that they test like they're real diamonds. They shine. Mm -hmm. Damn near even brighter than mm -hmm. like VS ones or VVSs, and then they're just way cheaper and they're lab grown. That's why. I but what's never, wrong with that, really? I never felt right about it. Like during my very brief time period where I was actually wearing jewelry, like having a chain, it always felt kind of weird to me because it's like I'm just gonna like do an interview and I'm gonna be sitting next to Young Thug and my chain is gonna look retarded next to his regardless. I know other people don't think of it that way, but to me it seemed. Too obvious to think of it that way, mm. and that's also why I like kind of didn't couldn't get into the idea of like buying designer clothes and stuff. <laughs> it feels stupid to buy like Gucci and shit when I'm like looking at my Instagram feed and seeing like you know Gucci Mane wearing like Gucci shit that's not going to come out for two months that he got for free. I mean, you don't give a fuck though. That's your preference. But now I just don't give a fuck. But, but there was a time <laughs> period when I first started getting money that I was kind of like, oh, I'm gonna like try out buying some jewelry. I'm gonna buy some designer. And I know people that's like that with tattoos. They just look at somebody's tattoos, but oh, I need to get more tattoos now because you got so many. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. you know or I mean? you know, what, you know what I think? Because like a lot of my tattoos were like very unthought out and unplanned or whatever. Mm -hmm. So when I see people with like cool, crazy portraits, I'm like, damn, or just crazy shit. I'm like, damn, I wish I would have went back. And like redid my whole sleeve differently or something, you know. But that's why I always feel like black people freak out over white people's tattoos because they're just like, damn, like there's so much color in it, and like black people are kind of limited in how much color they can have. I know, man, my shit barely stays. It's really like, also that's something that like I know a hell of black people with hella color in their tattoos, but though. you can't really no, like not like dark. It's enough. hard to make it look good. Like, look, his he got a little bit of red. You can see. But yeah. if your skin is really dark, you but can't also, even really do that. Also, what, AD, you got that tattoo in 08, 09? Which one? The AOB with the red? You yeah, probably got that, that was like 2010. Well, AOB, all on a bitch? Yeah. Exactly. Who, who, why'd you get that? That was all, uh, we Click all, I was part of. Yeah, we all on a bitch. Shout out to Joe Moses. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was his thing for a while? Yeah. AOB. I, I know about all our bosses. I know AOB from Jason, because he would always really? say all oh. on a bitch. Like, basically, like, NorCal <laughs> slang for dudes that, like, basically, like, 
either pimp or live off of girls. Yeah. They stood for all our bosses. Um, yeah. That's like one thing with tattoos though. That's like I, I feel like a lot of people like you probably would be amazed at how long my tattoos took too. Cause like like one sleeve took like forty plus hours. But you got the sleeve at one time? No. No, you couldn't. Okay. One like two days Cause, straight. No, <laughs> I'm no. Sleeping. Cause oh. me, I had just like Pieces. Two, three years of just pieces and then mm -hmm. just blending them together. And then getting a Batman symbol. What, what happened with that? You that was my first baby mama's name. And uh, then I got, I got the like Batman cover symbol up. put covered over it. When I was really getting yeah. tattoos, though, you would see some crazy shit. Because you'd just be sitting in. I was in a, t a, t a tattoo shop in the middle of Brooklyn. And you would see the most fucking trash ass people come in. Like a girl who was like blatantly on Xanax showing this fucking star tattoo. She had just gone on her leg with like. It was so Fucked, well, and she's like, and like she's pussy. just like, oh, can you guys fix this? And it's like, honestly, like you're gonna have to let it like cut your leg off. You know, <laughs> it like, wasn't healed or something. Or what, it, what it was, was like she had gotten it that night. It looked so fucked. Mm -hmm. And this girl's just walking into the tattoo shop trying to get like advice on what to do, and all they could tell her is like, let it heal for a couple months, and then come back, and we can maybe talk about doing a cover up, or you could go to a tattoo removal place, mm -hmm. and it's gonna take like. You know, you're going to have to get a hit like 10 times. I had a times. bad experience like that. I had like, I got these. It's, it's fixed now, but mm. you can see like, you see where it's discolored? Yeah. They were like these fucking craters that scarred oh, man. on the fucking tattoo, bro. It was fucking ridiculous. Oh, yeah. If they don't know what they're doing, they can totally leave that for you. Hell yeah. I got color Look at you. You got a fucking SB on your shoulder. Yeah. That's, that's Do you really? Yeah. Damn. Look. I got an Xbox controller too. Where's I know that? you had that. I didn't know you had a Nike SB tattoo. You got that's a GameStop crazy. tattoo? Huh? Game Game Star. This Star. one with the skulls I is crazy. I got a fucking iPod. Yeah, that's the crazy one. Yeah. I'll be forgetting. You know how many people shit. have like the hundreds bomb tattoos? Yeah. Can you answer me? Look at him. <laughs> He's like, I'm blessed. <laughs> Can you answer me seriously now where that shirt came from? My homie exclusive game. I need one. I yeah, you. it's kind of hard. I got you. <laughs> but the back has like a patch on it. Like it's hard. Yeah. I want one, but it doesn't. It can't say Sugar Hill Gang. Shout out to Desto Dub one time. You know how I'm coming. I Did got you, the, shout out to my you nigga pulled Dub. up. I got the new one. Though, you, you pulled know? up on him or that what? One was fire. This is the one he was on Melrose. He's on Melrose right now. He's been there for months. Yeah, I know, but I mean, he went to Atlanta like oh, everybody yeah, did. Yeah, so yeah, I thought yeah, you meant then. He did, you know? huh? Yeah, yeah, bro. I wonder how that is for him. They had a V long pop up too in Atlanta. Really, yeah. bro? I feel like everybody had pop ups. Have, have you Atlanta. watched the video on YouTube like the rise and fall of, yes. of V long? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've watched every video like that. They got me. I watched it the other day. Because uh, uh, I watched the one about Bloody Osiris too. Oh my God! That, they keep recommending me that one every day. I'm like, I'm not watching this. With a thread education, bro. Damn, you tapped in. Okay, I'm out here. I'm watching the shit. You know who Bob? You know who Bob Lamb is? Sounds really familiar. On YouTube, white dude. Uh, Tap in with him. He's fire. I gotta watch him. He's like, he started off being like Playboy Cardi only, or like play, like Cardi Uzi, like shit like that. But now he's like drifting into the even more like. Up and coming rappers, like he's kind of fire. I like his videos. You know what it is though? I've, I'm so hesitant on just like shouting people out anymore, just random motherfuckers. After what you did to Fashion Demics, bro. Not even no no no. Is he up, alive? We clouded him up so hard, and then he just like, and then you turned on him, and then he got his account. Because I just realized he was weird. Like after a minute, like you know. And honestly, like he had a wave for a minute there. He had a wave. I don't know what the fuck he's doing now? He's doing like, he, you know what he does? He does like his same type of reporting style, but on TikTok and very short. I wonder how it is. I don't know. But but I'll see him post the clips. On, I know this because I see him post the clips on YouTube. Let's just air this out. What the fuck happened to your dig? Yeah. I don't know why we're not talking about yeah, it. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Okay. A dig, your dig your is dig a white. Four eyes, two Gs here. He's an Australian oh, YouTuber yeah, yeah. kid that did, like, basically, he was trying to get. Like he wanted to work with No Jumper for like a long ass time, right? Like he, he he's very tapped into the underground SoundCloud right. like he, scene. He for a while was like he even like waited outside the store at one point to meet me for like a day really? or two or some shit. I'm pretty sure. Well, like this must have been back in the day, yeah, like years ago, I think. Well, they, they told me this the other day. I didn't even so remember. So he was it. in L. A. That's crazy. I didn't know he never at even one been point, in LA. I think he had been here. Yeah, but like, th but basically, you know, he just was like pressing me. Like he wanted a job, wanted to do anything for No Jumper, or whatever. Yeah. He finally. Kind of like he did videos for free for a while. Like he was doing like a weekly video on here with the sure. idea being that that would help to grow his channel. And by the way, his channel was already like pretty established. Doing okay, like, you yeah, know, you know having like I forget like fifty thousand yeah. subscribers, yeah, some, something like that. decent su subscriber base. Mm -hmm. I finally am like, all right, you know, I see the vision. I appreciate what you're doing. I think that what you're doing is dope. So 
if you want to move to America, we'll sponsor your visa and you can just move out here and you can do we'll figure it out but like you can work on the social media side of things for now he was working with Yassi and shit working with Vashti doing the social media stuff for a while there was like mad no jumper Instagram social media posts that were like really sort of like deep Playboy Cardi stories like you would only really like mm-hmm. think was a story if you were really paying attention to the Playboy Cardi stuff it's like how how Playboy Cardi beat up ass pizza and you, like, you know like, all, like the, the most like, like in depth shit yeah. and then so he's had he has this and he's doing the videos for us weekly or whatever and then at some point like the social media team just tells me like yo we ain't heard from you dig in like two weeks and he had we had been having a hard time like with the texting and shit in yeah. general because like he kept getting removed from the iMessage for some yeah, reason because it's a foreign number or whatever but uh then he I, also stopped posting on his Instagram yeah and I realized that he hadn't responded to my direct text so i dm him on instagram we have not heard anything from him in months he hasn't posted on his youtube channel i know that to him. if you look no oh God, he's what? not he's, he's he alive kid, we're gonna keep the hope he alive. got kidnapped by the papa john's nigga he's, he's in white. the uk so and he's also in the uk he's i mean for, not in the uk he's in forcing Australia. you dig to say the n-word he's, he's, he's got him trained for the past 20 months <laughs> <laughs> he's been training you dig to say that n-word once <laughs> no but Whatever. it's hella weird because he he seemed like one of the most Dedicated YouTubers to that type of scene, and now that guy Bob Lamb I was telling you about, I feel like kind of took his space because you, your dig's been gone. Maybe he's going, maybe he's going through some shit. That's what I'm thinking. But about. okay, that makes sense to me. Like, okay, maybe he's like, like there, there's a lot of like different options that we've weighed. Like, yeah. okay, if he's he, not dead. If he if he's dead, it would be in the news. Yeah, or or like, his family would post something. Or like, unless he's, in the, like unless he's in the woods. I would think. Or like his friends that like know that he loves right. No Jumper. Somebody would have said something. That's the weird part is like, does he not have any friends who would like find a way to like message me on Twitter and tell or like, me? Or yeah. like if something crazy happened, because let's say he got in a terrible car accident. Like, isn't there somebody who's going to like. It would be some proof somewhere. Would, would it, the first thing that you would think was like, oh, I'm going to like make sure that somebody contacts my employer or whatever. You would think would be a big deal. Or just like his, some, his fans would have told us. Somebody. Yeah, it's hard to imagine that he's like maybe he's like depressed like we, we've all thought about that option but like i don't know like you're so depressed that you just stop responding to even the people that are like giving you money every month that's kind of yeah. hard to imagine yeah and you've got all these kids leaving comments thinking that something bad happened to you on your instagram and his last picture he posted was kind of eerie like eerie really? vibe. i don't know to me to me it was eerie so why does this keep happening with the youtubers because lael hansen fucking deleted everything and disappeared at one point too who's that Remember the thick fucking Canadian chick that we were fucking with for a while? Yeah, yeah, I do remember that girl. She yeah. just disappeared, deleted everything, but now she's dropping like music videos. Like she's that's she's why trying she to be an artist. Rebranding. She what rebranded for like dig- a year or what something. What if you dig is rebranding? And he's just gonna come out as a Playboy Cardi style rapper. I, I hope like that. The, I just don't want this conversation to seem like like we think this is really funny no, no, because no, it not seems more likely that it's really serious. Yeah, I fuck with him. I wonder if he's learned how to make pizza. <laughs> he hits the block <laughs> one time and he's completely <laughs> incapable. We're talking about someone who worked for us possibly being dead or disappeared or depressed. And AD's just over here missing the tone, I would I would say. Oh my god. This is so I think I, I think kills I, bagel, doesn't care when you yeah, dig is, is possibly we don't know what happened to him. But either way, you dig where the fuck are you? Why aren't you just Yeah, man. Like, your I, fans are worried about you. I hope everything is good with you, my boy, because I actually fuck with your dig. Bro, me and your dig. Had like long comp, like pause, had like long combos in the DM. And like, he was like, not even giving me advice, but like being like someone that has been watching all of us and then just watching me and my music trajectory at the same time. And he was being like, bro, like, I don't know. He was just like giving, like, he was saying some like very like, he had a lot of good inputs on shit. And and, I mean, he really pays attention to everything. I don't want to like hype up. No jumper or whatever, but he had wanted to work for us for a long time, yeah. and then we finally were like, "We're gonna move you to LA. We're gonna pay from you Australia, from yeah. Australia. You're gonna be in the office working with us directly on content and mm-hmm. all the social media stuff and the blog that we just launched and everything. Mm-hmm. And like, you would think that that would be a time in his life where he'd be hyped, like, "Oh, I'm getting to move." But there. we don't know. God you damn. never know what people got going on, bro. He could be going through some family <laughs> shit. He could be going through some personal shit. Like you, re- like you never know what motherfuckers got going on, bro. And so it's like, and, and and think about it. Life is weird like that, where you have something really good happen to you, you'll have bad shit happen to you too. Mm-hmm. I just got into an accident the other day downtown, and I was like, bro, I've been on my shit. I've been like working hard on this brand. I've been like not getting fucked up. I'm like, all right, bro. Like I'm trying to like be on my shit, and I'm, like, and I'm like, I'm like, all right. I'm like, I'm driving the day I get into an accident. I'm literally driving, and I'm like, all right, bro. 
I know I'm on bullshit. I got to go get this license. I'm going to go like tomorrow or some shit, whatever. Literally two hours later, get into an accident. Damn. But you were okay? I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. But Because I was thinking, what if it's the kind of thing where he's finally like getting what he wanted? Like he's finally like getting to move to LA. He's finally mm. got the job with the company that he really wanted to work it's with. too much. And he's realizing oh my god maybe this isn't what i really wanted anyway so i'm gonna just disappear from the internet and like he's like fuck this shit i don't know that that does kind of seem like weird there's so many scenarios we could there's been times like i remember when i first opened a shop and i like thought like because i wanted to shop for like five years i've been thinking about it and we finally opened one finally have a big ass successful opening party and i remember just feeling like depressed as fuck Mm. because it was like oh like i got the thing that i thought was going to be like the thing that was going to make yeah. me excited and now I'm realizing that actually this is going to be a ton of work Bro. and this is just oh part God, of you know is- like in some way that was kind of hard for me to take of like oh now I need to reorient my brain to figure out what my new goals are bro it's it's like it's probably one of the scariest feelings cuz you're like damn I'm I'm just getting started I got 10 more steps to go you feel me Exactly. I don't mean to theorize too no, much about what could happen. No, but, but that's one guess. But I'm gonna be honest though. That's some shit that people don't ever hear, and that's why people like podcasts and shit mm. is because you could open up depths of the brain that other that you won't hear people talk about that on a song. Mm. Maybe you will. DJ Khaled suffering from success. You Nav. feel me? Like you feel me? Like Nav, Nav. Like damn, they didn't take pictures of me outside of no. <laughs> Nav is really good at making being really wealthy and successful and having mad drugs and designer sound kind of sad. And he's like, like, he's like, damn it, I'm allergic to peanuts, but Drake offered me the peanuts. So what did I do? <laughs> this is all fake news. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about not getting his photo taken outside Nobu well, is real. Yeah, but the peanuts was was fake. I think. I but, wonder how I would feel if I was leaving Nobu and there was mad paparazzi. See, I would just not even think that they would want to take photos of me. I wouldn't even be thinking about it. I'd be like, "Yeah, you, you just like probably want to hop in your car and just keep it moving." But this nigga nap, like, "Yo, what's up?" Like, <laughs> I know. I think about that all the time. Like when when I think that people might be like about to try to take a photo of me in Seven Eleven, I'm thinking, "Please don't recognize me. Please don't recognize me." Do you walk around with your hood on and shit all the time too? Oh yeah. That's what I hate about the fucking summer is that you yeah. can't rock the hood. All winter, I can be out in public with the hood on and just feel like hella anonymous. If you Take got the, the hood off, uh, everybody, everybody can If you got a hood, mask on, nigga, you're, you're, you're cooling. That's why the mask is fire. Or a Louis Vuitton scarf. I've, I get recognized a million times less when I got the fucking whole wrap around my face like that. I feel very free. You <laughs> That's how you know niggas. Sunglasses, mask, and hat. You Nobody. Anybody. That's a fact. But it's hot as fuck out here, like 80% of the I feel, year. I feel like your fans would like see your hand tattoos or something and still be like, ah, oh, yeah. fucking Adam. There he is. That's what sucks, though, is that like some percentage of my fans are like meth heads who are like... <laughs> Yes, kind of freak me out. <laughs> not all, not, not a lot. <laughs> you're, you're you're half like your COVID vaccine. I've definitely had people run up on me who are like blatant, like Off either like shit. crackheads, like big fans, but who are clearly on multiple Xanax bars or something. Whenever people would like DM me them doing drugs, <laughs> I'm like, this is not like I don't want to see this. You and don't like, understand how lit this is, bro. People being my like. I like posted something about the shoes and the nigga was in my comments like I'm on I'm on three I'm on three perks and a half a Zan or something. I'm like, bro, relax. One of the most depressing things I ever had happen to me in my life was I was at a show, I think it might have been a Suicide Boys show back in mm-hmm. the day, like fucking four or five years ago. Mm-hmm. And there's I see this kid who I had met like maybe a year before, who was like a fan kid, and he had like grown a ton because he was like 15 but so i'm like at first i'm freaking out like holy fuck how did you get so much bigger and then i like realize i'm like bro you look fucked up i thought (laughs) he had like a concussion at first and he's like nah bro i'm on five bars right now (laughs) i'm just like bro you thought he had a concussion you're 15 and you're trying to impress me by telling me that you're off mad drugs and he's with like five or six like teenage girls too and you could tell that they're like really thankful that i'm telling them straight up like what the fuck is wrong with you because they like care about him and they're worried about they're probably taking care of him i heard from that kid over the years though and him he like came to the store and shit and told me he got clean and stuff i I forget his name and stuff, but that shit was like such a huge bummer at that time, dude. Yeah, I'm glad I was not on Xanax at that time because I probably wouldn't have like cared. You wouldn't have cared at all. Yeah. I, I was um the day the store opened on Melrose, the first two kids in line gave me a Xan, but then later on, I was like at the club at the Roxy uh, uh, above the rocks. That same kid, I saw him at the club. He was like, "Yo, I produced for a uh, fucking 
like he reminded me who he was of how he gave me the Zan. He was like, I started making beats, blah, blah, blah. I produced for uh, City Morgue. Mm. The album went like in the top 100 or something, and he was lit as fuck. He had like the most streamed song on the album or some shit. So I'm you're like, saying that it can be very good to bond with people over opiates. <laughs> 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 no. You can do a lot of great networking no, no, off no. of opiates. Oh no, God. I'm saying that like it was tight to see this little kid go from literally being a little kid and giving me a Zan the, the first day that it, uh, the store opened to now he has a a song on an album that's on the billboard. Do you want to speak on a, a live performance that I noticed you were very excited about from DJ Dabs? <laughs> that was crazy because... He's a rapper now. I didn't just know, a lean reviewer. Maybe he'd been making music and just keeping mm. it on the low. But the stage presence was not there, but I'm, I want to hear the song. I'm not sure if it's on DJ SoundCloud. DJ Dabs' whole thing, though, is like being on pharmaceutical drugs so it's like but he quit like recently for a while and then he was just fully back on it like i'm just saying like didn't last i'm not gonna expect dj dabs to come out and be like moshing or nothing because he just like you know like he his music is probably about lean and Zan i don't and know shit. why y'all give me weed <laughs> <laughs> every fucking time it's I'm like over a, here in fucking La La Land. It's like a little. <laughs> it's I'm like sitting a, there staring at that fucking gold. I'm trying to wonder what's on the goddamn condom. It's a party yeah. trick. Get AD so high that he can't think. No, I can't. It works. I can't see whose face it is because the light is shining <laughs> right there, so I can't see his face. Do you it feel is. like this has gotten worse over the past couple of months of like your reaction to getting high, or do you think that we just notice it a lot more now? I think because I'm on camera so much now that it's mm. just like blatant. But the fucking. No jumper fans, they be laughing. They love that shit. So that's why I continue <laughs> to do it. If you're getting high as fuck in the studio with a bunch of your rapper homies, I can't do it. But yeah. I feel like you, you in that environment, you're not going to seem as fried as you actually are no. because you don't have to talk at length. Bro, yeah. I swear to God, last week at my studio, bro, which I'm trying to go to tomorrow, All right. they hot boxed the whole fucking studio, bro. I opened the door three times. I ended up going in the booth and I passed out in the booth, bro. You passed out. I was asleep. They, had, they didn't know the where before. the fuck I went, bro. You were laying down on the ground. You, I was on collapsed. the ground. No, I didn't collapse, but I, I, I collapsed. I was in like, the you know what? Before. If I sit down on the floor real quick, I just want to feel a little comfortable and I fucking passed out. No, nah, I actually collapsed in the booth too, but like, I was like off the shits and I was like. He just, was off the, the tranquilizer? No, no, no. I was <laughs> off the horses. I was off the bars that like probably had just. Like Fent bars that probably just started being a thing or something. Like it was like, whoa, this could be sus. It was like 2016 or something. But have you written a verse? Like have you had to rap when you were that like ridiculously high? Like as high as you are now, if you had to rap, how would it go? This is not even bad like yeah, that. Yeah. Right. You're but actually I've like been, talking. I've seen you so much worse than this. Yes. On the streams on Friday, which we're doing Friday at one. Yes. Also, oh. I'm streaming right after this. I'm not even taking a five minute break. Me and Yuri turning this bitch on. We going crazy. And playing your music Friday at 1 p.m. as well. But yes, he will exactly. be on after this. But that's when AD gets so high that he completely ceases to have a personality. <laughs> it's fucked. You know what it you is? You guys get a fucking kick out of it. You know what it is? Because I always do some crazy. The, the last time was that. Was I high when I put all the hats on my head? But, yes. yes. But we've and tried, the sunglasses. We've tried to not give you the blunt. And then you, and you like, want the, the blunt. Yeah. You're like, what the fuck? I just don't like being left out. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> just like, wait. So if Adam was smoking the meth and then I hit it a little bit too, no, 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 you no, would no, feel no. left out. No, nah, I'm gonna say pass that shit to Yuri. <laughs> Why Yuri? I don't know. He, he, he might want the meth, bro. Just know, we like, I want the meth. We would be turned like, it, like we would do a stream from like Friday to to Monday. I probably would end up having the worst, being the worst person off of that. Oh, Next time you see uh, me. I thought you were gonna say I'll probably end up trying it if I'm with y'all. I want to keep it real with you. When I did meth. <laughs> I, I, we left the party. We get back to my house. We start fucking. Oh. At some point, I hear a knock on the door, and it's my BMX homie who was sleeping on the couch in the living room. And he's like, "Yo, uh, we got to be at the contest by 11. And I'm like, "Okay, I, I'm just gonna go to bed for a couple hours, and then we can go." He's like, "It's 10:30. <laughs> I hadn't gone to sleep. We were, oh, we were no. up off the meth. We go to this contest. Oh, it's no. a BMX contest. There's children there." I I was supposed to announce the contest. I announced the whole fucking contest. I had sunglasses on, thank God. And then we go back to this girl's house. We do more of this oh drug. Oh my fucking God. We continue to fuck until about like five, six in the morning. And then we go to sleep. And then unfortunately, like the next like two days, it was like terrible rainstorms. Oh no. And also I had the post meth blues. Oh, that sounds terrible. And I, you know what shaking? And I never 
pull all nighters in the first place. So yeah, like the the couple days after the 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 meth binge really convinced me that I didn't want to do that again. <laughs> Smart decision. Oh my god, bro. The meth was scary. Yeah, it's a dark place. And then I realized that she was doing this shit all the time. You realize how dark she think about how dark she is in general and how bad she felt about her life every every other day shout out to her but uh is it who i think it is yes obviously <laughs> but uh <laughs> yeah it was just you know it wasn't it was a it, it made me realize that that person was probably like doing that mm. quite a bit at that time and that yeah. kind of changed my perception of reality a little bit after that shout out to being sober besides yeah huge helpings of kush shout Ma out to being sober massive kush clouds yeah i I think I'm just on the weed wave for a minute, bro. Honestly, <clears throat> I've taken a little Addy to like be up, but that's pretty much it, bro. I've been yeah. trying to chill out on that shit for real, for real. That shit is. Although I'm not gonna lie to you, Donnie gave me the medicated nerd rope. Mm. Knocked you out. I do not want that. Ooh, I'm good on that. The medicated nerd rope tastes hella whole, good. You ate the whole thing though. Um, I ate half of it and was pretty high. If I ate the whole thing, it was 400 milligrams. I'd oh, probably be. No. I would check myself up. into the hospital. I've done that before. <laughs> I'd probably I can't this nigga tried no to more. check me into the hospital with one cu one sugar cube or something. Me? It had acid on it. That you took? I took it on the live stream here. And then I tried to put you in the hospital? No, you gave like, me. Like Meredith? You I gave, gave you me acid? an edible. Oh. Oh, that thing. <laughs> but it was acid. That was a it. weed edible. I think you just got like the, the gnarly one. Because you know what it probably was? It's like a candy and it probably like yes. all melted in the heat down to one. Because I've, I've had that same exact experience with those candies. There's mm. definitely gnarly ones and there's there's ones that have like nothing in it. Yep. Because I, I had people give me like weed pills before. It's oh cause my God. They just coat it. They, they just coat the gummy bears with like <laughs> medicated shit. So it could like slide off and slide to the other one. Now I got these. Mary and Jane's edibles. No. Little caramels. AD, eat one. No. Come on. No. Bitch. Unless you, you a He's bitch. Not, bitch. He's not even going to be high by the time we finish Yeah, this. you ain't going to see me tomorrow on the show. I would like to request I'm gonna be running around. that everybody watching this go watch the Too Short interview after this. Mm. Too Short? Is it out? Yes. What's my favorite Fire. word? He didn't say that at all until, like, that's the last word that he says that's in the entire fire. thing. Because for some reason, I did not bring up anything having to do with that. But he made sure he said it one time before the end. I love that. And you know what he actually, he said something like, it's weird doing interviews like that where it's not just clickbaity shit. That's what he said. Mm. He was basically. Okay. Cause you we, saying you did your thing. Because we just flowed and we're just talking about random ass shit the whole time. And it was really hard for me to think of what the fuck the title should be because it was just us like, it was like a, a Joe Rogan type thing where you're just sort That's of like, fire. yo, uh, it was random bullshit, you know. AD, AD's about to have a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking in my head now. Kevin Yo. Samuels almost got a million views. Damn, go crazy. The goat. The streets went crazy for that one. That was that was my uh, my idol. Think YG could do a million for sure. Yeah, that was funny actually. Yeah. I, I see how enthusiastic you are about the YG interview, so I, I feel like you're doing a good job to like get people to watch it. Everybody That's keeps saying that they think we're on like a run, like a crazy like run podcast wise lately, which it does kind of feel like that. Like we've just dropped like a shitload of good ones recently, and the YG one felt like, aha, yes, we finally got the. That was fire. He brought his uh his label on too, like you know. Yeah, we're probably a little bit further away from getting the game interview that I've always wanted at this moment, just because mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if he was happy about us calling out the scamming thing at one point. But uh, <laughs> hey, I'll talk to Chip. You gotta you gotta just keep it real at a certain point, you know. Yeah. That's a fact. Anybody want to uh, go to a like gay strip club after this? No. Okay, we could all just go home then. Yes. I'm okay. going to stay here and stream, listen to your motherfucking music all night long. Brain. I am high. <laughs> I did ask YG if he would sign Brian Pumper to 400 Records. Did you, you ask him out on camera? Yes. Stupid what did he say? Shit ever. He said no. Well, I mean, I don't know exactly what he said, but he said no. He did? He oh, Josh he, said he didn't he say no. He left the door open to him. It was a big fat maybe. Dude, oh we, my God! We need to close. Ding, ding, ding. The, we need to close the door on Josh and Yuri's outfits, bro. They literally, no, 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 not today, not today, but not the, today. The Pokemon, the pants Pokemon are OD. pants, bro. I seen it at the same time. Those are pretty. Because Josh be pulling up fitted sometimes. I be seeing my boy. I be giving him his props. Josh just decided at some point, like fuck it, like everybody else is dripping. I'm gonna just start buying some shit. If you okay, if you go okay, I know, I know the Pokemon pants probably came with a jacket. 
It was yeah, probably a Matthew Jean jacket. The, the jacket was sold out by the time they ordered ah, the pants. Okay, but if you're gonna do that, you gotta go like plain tee and plain kicks. You can't do too much if you're gonna do the Pokemon. Like coming in in the full Pokemon suit would be so much crazier you than so? just rocking the pants. Because the pants was like, with like a random hoodie with some random shoes. What it's would like, Bloody Dior do? You gotta come. The, you gotta come. Jacket, white tee, designer belt. Pants, all white Air Forces. You know what I found out from the fucking Bloody Osiris uh, YouTube video? Oh, I the, watched this. That Dior was actually arrested at some point for shooting Uno, which I never they, realized. They talked about that in Threadication? Yes. Which I was really What does that surprised. have to do with like the drip story? Because they, <laughs> they were just talking about Bloody Osiris. And, the, and I always thought that the Dior and Uno situation was some street shit that we just knew about, but that like never was legal. Yeah. And then I found that out. That's kind of crazy, that. yeah. I was in the car uh, with this girl I was dating at the time, and John Ross called her and like told her that whole story like right when it happened. We wow, like, really? What? We were like, "What?" Like I was, I felt like cool. I was, it, um, it's always weird when somebody gets shot and like the word just spreads so crazy and but everybody like knows, the, but then nobody gets arrested. But it wasn't really on the internet like that at first. But he, he did happened. get arrested apparently. So that's, that's kind of cra- man. But isn't that like always weird when it's like, how the fuck is it possible that everybody on like nah, a street level th- knows and the cops don't know? Bro, but you, bro, you got to think about it like that too. Like, think about this too. It's like, how many times have we known some rapper that was like beating up his bitch all the time and everybody knew, but mm. but nobody did nothing. Nigga didn't go to jail. The girl ain't report shit. Like shit happens all the time that don't get reported. It's true. Adam's just so much of a fan. He's like, how the fuck? But when somebody gets not been killed, reported? when somebody yeah. gets killed, we're well, not and killed. Uno didn't you know? get killed, but <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or even just shot. Shooting yeah. somebody's a big deal. Shooting somebody, bro. I can't go like Lady Gaga dog walker. No. Nah. I gotta keep the blammy on me. I can't go like that. Can't go out like him. He should have had it on him. I seen the hum- bro. I seen the homie walking the dog on ring, and I was like, bro, you better have that pocket rocket on you. Just any dog. Yeah, I mean, what kind of dog was it? It was like a cute pug, but like a design, <laughs> like a designer pug. But you, you realize <laughs> that there's been multiple times in Beverly Hills over like the past week where somebody like ran up on a, a businessman wearing like a fucking half a million dollar yep. watch and Richard took that Milley. shit. Yep. Isn't that crazy? I seen a surveillance video. Of somebody, they got robbed with their wife, too, in Beverly Hills. I mean, honestly, like, if you have, like, a half a million dollar thing on you, it's like, should we even be a little bit surprised that somebody's down to put the blame in your face for it? Especially like, right now, People bro. get killed for, like, a couple thousand dollars all the time. Yeah, you don't think niggas would, like, try to strip you for this $20,000 know? watch, $30,000, $50? Like, half know? a million? If you have a half a million dollar watch on, you should have security with you. People are taking serious penitentiary chances for a shot at a half a million dollar watch. Let's be real. Half a million dollars is a game changer. If you have $5,000 sticking out of your pocket on Melrose, somebody would definitely put a gun in your face for it. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are they going to do for a half a million dollar watch? Yep. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, man. That's why you got to. If I had a half a million dollar watch, I would be embarrassed to wear that. I would, I would say, come over, you Adam. Would, you would just look like such a... <laughs> you would definitely Adam. set me up. You're, you're the biggest fraud. <laughs> come over, Adam. <laughs> look at him. Everyone in the streets. Wag 100, watch this. Look at him. Don't trust him. He's a bad guy. <laughs> Don't trust him. He's a bad <laughs> Don't guy. Don't trust him. <laughs> oh, my How God. How long until Wag 100 figures out that YG wouldn't comment on him in that interview and... Just has something to say. Leave that shit alone. Yeah, you tell him. Oh, just Text him and just say, hey, nigga, I don't want you, I don't want no, you to talk about this no, on your Instagram. Nigga, leave that shit alone, bro. <laughs> God damn it. Y'all just, he just said he had no problem with you. Leave him out of this motherfucker. I'm about to make a Milk 7 Four video about you. Oh, I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you live. I can't exactly. say that back. Exactly. I can't say that back. You, never, you never told me where you live because you shook. No. Ooh. Yeah, that's why I, I can't get into an AD either. He knows where I, he basically knows where I live. He knows where to get. Honestly, me. I think anybody can compile enough uh, <laughs> no jumper episodes hey. and find out exactly where you stay. Yo, chill. I got, oh, I, got, yeah. I, got I got closer chill. today. Long Yo. John Silver. <laughs> Yo, he did though. Yo. <laughs> You really did. I'm pretty sure I got the cross streets now. Yo, you're funny as hell. I swear to God. All I gotta say, (laughs) this episode was on Five Five Crib. It's the Max Six. How much did you pay him for that? $80. That's not that bad. That was worth it. He taxed me. He knew I was about to give him an interview and he still taxed me. $80 is taxing? 
Okay. Come on, bro. If I'm him, that's for cameo. I would have did it for free. I would have did it for free. If I'm him. him and you're about to get a no jumper interview, and the host of no jumper asks you to make a video, <laughs> I would just do it for free. He checks me for the full eighty, and you know what he said? He said, he said, send me screenshot after you send it. He wasn't even going to take my word for it. I fuck with him for that. That's fire. You can't be playing with these niggas. Definitely using his girl's cash app too, which is Bro, some real exactly. that's some real shit. I love that. Okay, go watch the two short interview right now. It's basically this part. It's the prequel to this. <laughs> because it happened Ow. before this. Oh, I was about to, oh, literally today? Oh. No. I was gonna say you like a week or two ago. <laughs> I'm like, you filmed a video and put it out already that fast? No, it was a while ago. Okay, but okay. It's out now. Well, Where's me. that dog at? Hmm. hmm. Shout out to everybody who watched this. This has yeah. been the No Jumper Show, man. Y'all niggas, like, comment, subscribe. Wait, wait, wait. We didn't, fuck, we didn't talk about that. I wanted to talk about that. What? Push Icy versus Kodak. Let's get the fuck off of here. <laughs> Nothing great, really man. happened. Nothing